Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by StrikeForceEnergy.com. Put down the water and grab a fucking drink. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Ross Welcome Patterson in the flesh. In the flesh. I'm here. You can, you, can see, you, can, you can see my skin. You can see my bones. You can see all of my flesh. You're all in. You're in the studio. But you know what? I've got I've got a bone to pick with you, and oh, then I've God. got something that you have no choice but to do. Uh, oh, well, God. here's the first thing. The, the bone you're going to pick is is absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, but you're still wearing the fucking. Air, the, the airmen's uh, it's not, oh, it's it's not, not the first airmen. time yeah you've it's seen it in the flesh I haven't seen it in person first off I haven't not, seen it in person you look you, like right? Garth Brooks early 90s <laughs> yeah. um, like not, I'm not, not shaving yeah not Chris Gaines um, I'm just saying Chris Gaines for but album, you know what but you know what's Brooks. fun is I have a clear view of you well, I have a clear view of them I don't a, have a pole in front of me you see it's all about it's all about the view it's all about the view it's all about the view I mean I'm not gonna get mad at that that's why I got rid of mine and put it. Over I'm there. like, but I'm like Shared. the chocolate That's rain so guy, where I pull the mic away from my mouth so I can breathe. You know, so I'm yeah. not breathing in the mic. Chocolate yeah. rain. That's a fucking. We've OG had a guest. Who, we've had a guest that just breathed into the mic. I forgot who all it was. time. Just, uh, uh, just. Uh, uh, like, uh, are you just watching cops? Yeah. Are you sweating? Are you sweating, yeah. dude? Sweating. It is Burt Kunz from TV, <laughs> the fucking Kunz founder. Wait, CEO. How did he, how did he make her training? Rope though? himself into episode 200. I know. He's important was, now. He's important I'm, now. I am not important. I'm the fluffer. That's what Matt we told get, me. He's we like, get you can so sit many hashtags. Here. Here. Wait, how come I fluff? I fluff you though. That doesn't make sense. If you're the fluffer, why am I fluffing you? Wait, but you were paying me to fluff you before he fluffs you. What? You're getting all That's the That's double dip. That's, That's a double that fluff is, dip. That's a double, a double fluff. fluff. That's a double dip. fluff. Yeah, we call that a like Hillary it. fluff in the biz. Nice. Hey, yeah. take it back. I like no, I won't. Take it back. We I do won't. not make jokes about her. No. What's your bone to pick with me, by the way? Mm. Oh, so yeah. you will stay one night with me at Unicorn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you don't, you yes. are a fucking asshole friend. Yes. Oh, am I really though? Yes, yeah, because okay. that is a nice house. I've, number one. Wow. Well, <laughs> number two. <laughs> I set a room up for you with clean everything. Like you have your own apartment, pretty much. You have a you have a living room downstairs. You have a nice bed, and then you have a you have a Here, bathroom. Here's what I've heard about that place. <laughs> um, okay, you can say what you've heard. Okay, I, I will. Well, for for the audience, so Unicorn Ranch is what we call it. Is actually where. You know, yes. we have a house from Black Rifle where yep. we have transient people stay. But then right now there's a few employees that live there uh, to include Jared. Uh, Eli's there and a couple other people. Um, so it's, it's a little party house, you know? Yeah. More than a party house. So no, here's the call. Like a frat house. Here's the call I got one, one time. Um, hey, man, thinking about leaving, we don't have electricity and we haven't for three days. <laughs> <laughs> got that phone call. Yeah, true or false? Yeah. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> but that problem has been yeah. rectified since. The problem that was rectified, you, you left. You physically left town. You bought a flight. You left town. And that's how you beat not having electricity. Just and not I was being like, there. No, it was rectified. It was definitely rectified. Jesus Christ. L listen, that wasn't on me. That was not on me at all. Two hundred. But I fixed it. We we've had we've had electricity in this country for almost two hundred years, and you don't have it in today's age. Uh, well, guess that's what? Science. I will is say though, like there somehow is... somehow my house is turned into the fucking transient house because like a perfect example, Richard Ryan comes over yesterday. Big He's Dick like, Ryan. Hey, I'll be on the way over. He's like, awesome, dude, because we're gonna watch the fights and talk shop about some stuff, and then. He he just walks into my house. He knows the code to my door. Yeah. Doesn't knock. Just walks right. I'm like Richard. That's how you die. I shoot people. Not, like, yeah, he's gotten way too familiar. Where it's like, <laughs> it's like even, we're though, getting, even though we're you best knocked, friends, Ross knocked. Even though know? we're best friends, got there, rang the doorbell. Twice. I knock on his door. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. You have to. It's pretty funny. You have to. You don't. You don't go in into somebody's house like that. Friends are not friends. Like, hey, you he's just married. You, don't, you just want to stay in my house because you have a fucking urinal. Oh, <laughs> I, get, I get both. <laughs> yes, but we're we're digressing. You are staying one night yes, with me. Yes, one night. Oh, boy. Because one night. that's not fair. No, it is. If you, you, yeah, it is. no, it's not. What? So, so you're my friend I, first. I, 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 that's that's true. We were we were <laughs> the first. We were the first friends to me. What are you? What are you giving me as an incentive? So when I go over to Unicorn Ranch, like, what? But do you have? Well, do you have I television? Mean, do you have, yes, you have electricity? Yes. We have running water. We have all of that. <laughs> we have we have a, an Xbox One. Okay, you're, you're um, in stained toilets we have, for sure. We have oh, yeah. no. Yeah. All the bathrooms are spotless right now. <laughs> really? You should get a man. You don't believe me? I don't believe. You. I will have I will have you a send me a photo, photo taken of every toilet right now. Oh, yeah, tell I cleaned them yeah. yesterday. I, I, okay, okay, yesterday okay. I went there like four days ago and it was just like man. Well, yes, there's because no toilet paper. Because, there's because no... why? I've been gone. Okay, so 
when I'm there, so you're, you're the house adult. I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know the because dynamics. I don't like me- I don't like fucking clutter, mess, or anything. I will stay there. Like, not only that, because you brought this up, and in, in that you're you're so insulted that I have not stayed there. Not only would I stay there, but we'll go to a movie together. How about that? Oh, well, so we'll, I mean, you we'll can go, go to watch a, movie it, together. Prefer, a scary movie. Yeah, we'll go watch it I'll, or Mother. I'll go watch it with you, but I would I would prefer to just stay and brainstorm. That's all I want. Sure, I want to do, we a, can do that. a two o'clock in the morning, like hundred percent. Let's write down ideas. And Evan has yeah. to stay there that night too. <laughs> no, no. no I, I have a house with a wife and Evan two children. Not and have you stayed there? there? Have Evan you has stayed not there? stayed with me. Uh, yeah, I, st- I did stay there one night because I got too drunk and I actually stayed on, on one of the couches. There are a lot oh, of couches. Okay. There, are yeah. two, there, are, there are three living rooms. And, uh, so, uh, Ikea, um, did you get rooms to go? What did you do for that? Because I no, know you it was, it was fully, house is it was fully already, furnished. So oh, okay. The first time I went over there, I, I, I had, this was my second trip out here to see these guys. I was expecting Unicorn Ranch to have like pinball machines and ski ball sure, and space invaders yeah, yeah. shit, and no. it, I was I was expecting it to be like Motley Crue's 1984 tour, just fucking oh yeah, crazy. It's yeah. like a grandma's it's a vagina. Grandma, a it is a grandma's woman in the closet. It yeah. is a grandma's well, vagina. So it is a story suburban it. split like, level where you walk in and it's even got the china cabinets and everything. Like so, it is, so huh. the guy that owned it before, very comfortable. His wife died of what? Uh, I, we don't know. Natural was, causes. Was, was yeah, she, natural was causes. She murdered in the house. In the no, house. It was in a, the house. It was a big tampon incident. We won't yeah. talk about it. But. Yeah, oh. but but yeah. So his wife died, and when we when we found him, you know, we were like, well, we're looking for something fully furnished. He goes, you mean I don't have to move any of this? Like, he he wanted to move down south. Uh, you know, to you, know you know why he didn't want to move that furniture? She died on. She well, you know, I, I fucking lived there for like seven months. Yeah. Out of a rucksack. I think yeah. she. I think never, she, she died. Never forget. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm good. I think yes. the wife died on a couch, uh, and then they moved her to the bed because they didn't really know. And then they called the authorities. I mean, that doesn't worry me. I mean, we I, have I'm three no- living rooms. It's yeah. awesome, Jared. I know you don't care. Um, but what I'm and, saying is this: and we have a, a giant, like, a dead person in there, like 14 person uh, dining room table that is full of editing machines. It really? has four editing machines on it. Who? So who all lives there? How many people? Oh, well, it's me, Eli. Okay. And then Dave. Dave. And, Dave. And, and then a random assortment of people. Feather. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, look, I'll, I'll give it a gozies. I'll give it a gozies with you. We'll brainstorm. We'll Listen, I shit, went to Target last month and bought new sheets for every bed in the house. You're kidding. No. What, what kind of beds? Because this is our I see a ghost bed. No. Sally Segue. <laughs> um, I, look, I'm I'm excited about. I'll I'll stay there with you, Jared. You got you, like we're we're in. Just, we're in. It's our transient house, so it has to be nice. Like when Ken stayed. Number one, something about something about our friend Ken. Ken he, stayed. He made we, his won't, bed. we won't tell his name. Just he, Ken. It's just yeah, Ken. Yeah, he okay. made his, he made his bed when he left. And oh, I, I really like that. Oh, because that is nice. I had a super fucking dope room set up for him, and when he left. Everything was was. Perfect. I have a question. So like, has Ross I ever stayed with you, Evan? No. no. Oh, I was gonna say because ho- who's a better house guest, Jared or I? Uh, you are. Oh, how I got it. How? Uh, I'll, I'll just explain the scenario. <laughs> well, hold on. I drink all the whiskey in the house, but I, I go do my own thing. I think. <laughs> uh, so Matt and Richard Ryan are the two finest house guests I've ever had, uh, hands down. They this are is... the most polite yep. individuals. Yep. Uh, Jared, this is gonna come back Jared to me will tend, people. yeah. Jared pretends that other people don't exist. So, like, if I'm around him, my wife will come in the room and she'll <laughs> like say, "Good morning, Jared." And Jared will go, "Hey, Evan, what do you think about this fucking crazy video on YouTube?" It, like, as if yeah. she doesn't exist. Yeah. So it's more of a it's, it, it's more of a complaint of the the, the community around him, right? And then, sure. You know he'll. He eats like he's starving, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. like like he's starving, right? Food is an obstacle for Jared. So like my wife will make like a nice dinner. Typically, she's she's a great cook. She'll sit this thing down in front of him. He'll devour it like he's starving. Does and he then go elbows, the, out? Elbows, elbows out? Like, elbows out? Elbows out? Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's literally imagine that he just fucking walked into a tavern, <laughs> a, a Are saloon, you sad a, over saloon? A, a saloon. No. Because okay. okay. honestly, I have after he's been on the fucking road on the horse for like two I, days. I have a big fun he night. sits down. 
eats it all and like throws the plate in the fucking sink and just walks out. Just oh, like oh, classic Jared. He's cla- and it, that's Jared. And he's but like, hold on, this Jared. is the thing I will say about Jared because he's been a house guest at my my place sometimes. Yeah. When you know Jared Taylor to a T, which like Noel, my wife knows him pretty well. Like right. we just let Jared do Jared, and he's actually really chill. Like he makes the bed when he leaves, and he just does Jared things, and then, and that's it. Like it's not annoying. It's, it's not, to somebody's house. No, he's, make the bed. He's not like he's not. But your annoying. wife doesn't know. <laughs> him probably well enough because it's like noel's just like hi jared <laughs> yeah well jared and i had so much to cover when he was in town like True. in the past that it was like it, it was, was all a three about month dump like, just all whoa. about what we can more ways than one well you know i have, a, I have a fond memory the first time he took me to Harmon's grocery store like i remember i bought bratwurst from you know and yeah. i had microwave bratwurst at his house yeah. well wow. see richard yeah. richard is a great house guest but then he starts to get way more comfortable because at this point what are we R- talking about richard's, house guests? I, no, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be real richard's way too fucking comfortable well, well, well he lived at my house for three weeks Doesn't multiple matter. times Doesn't and now matter. i mean he installed curtains downstairs wow well, you should have installed manners we were you know, <laughs> I mean, I told on the podcast we were sitting in bed at like fucking uh, 10 p.m noel and i get in bed pull up my computer and i was like Vroom! <laughs> and I text Richard and I'm like, Are you drilling in my basement? And he goes, Just hanging some curtains. And I was like, All right, fuck it, dude. But they were the same ones upstairs. So, you know, yeah, I'm I will say you. this okay. about Richard Ryan is he takes about a fucking hour and a half long shower, shower every day. And he takes about three of them. Three of so them a day. You've got to you've got to install another water heater yes. in you know, your house if you know, he's coming over. You're like, okay. you, know what, so, you know when he takes that many showers, it washes your hair off your body. Yeah. Every <laughs> every major pivotal idea I've had between us, all of us here, was in my shower in El Paso. Like I always have the fucking greatest ideas in the shower. We used to FaceTime for, for when whatever you reason. Were in the yeah. shower, whatever yeah. reason, like because that shower had good light, it was spacious, it was nice. Like <laughs> I would start fucking thinking about I, things I, in there. I, I, but I, yeah. since yeah. moving here, I have not had a shower that I can re- like think in. And my my downstairs go. shower's on point. You need to get uh, that, that one. one. It's nice. really nice. That one's it's a nice. really nice shower. J- um, Jared's that guy, because I think we talked about, like, when, when I showed up to El Paso the first time I ever met him, he was pointing at houses for rent and was like, this one's for rent. It's on my block, dude, so you could move in right there. I'm like, I don't even know you. And then you I think to. probably a couple months into a relationship, I get a FaceTime, because we'd always FaceTime when I was getting off work over overseas and he was in the morning. And I, was I answer it, and he's in the shower, taking a shower. And he's like, I got a fucking uh, life waterproof. A life proof yeah. for the waterproof <laughs> case. Yeah. yeah. And then I hear his wife like, are you fucking FaceTiming the shower? You guys you are gay. can't see my dick. You guys like, are gay. Okay, this is. <laughs> all right, fuck it. Yeah. He can't see my dick. I would have been, I would think if you had full dick out, it would have been cooler. You just like zero fucks given. Well, no, like, because nice I don't. Dick. I'm not, I'm yeah. not one of those. You know, there's those type of guys that think it's funny to fucking get naked. You're one of them. Wow. Well, I love it. Like you've shown me your dick quite a a few times oh, as a see, joke not only that but you you if you remember correctly you filmed my balls oh um, in slow mo in slow motion like it's super close remember too. i swung them yeah i swung yeah. them and, and we sent it to yeah, matt we sent yeah. it to matt uh, we scored I, it I, too by we, the way i have a video it. idea that, that it was is the all the of way all time. up yeah. Burke, yeah. do you want to be in our trusted <laughs> video circle <laughs> because it started I'm it started okay. with us like oh man what are we gonna do tonight i don't know how about i swing my balls and then all the way yeah yeah but the beauty of it was you took it so seriously like a like a DP, like oh, Roger like we, Deakins. We, we, yeah, I yeah, had we, to angle you. Oh, the light that? was off. Because the way I can swing my balls, a good yeah. DP, is yeah. is a gift and a curse. Wait, would you, so like, you DP'd Ross? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah he DP'd my you balls. You know, there wasn't oh. there was a time I asked him. I think I asked him after Helen Keller versus Night Wolves. I was like, dude, I would I would want to try and, and DP one of your movies. Now, no, fuck no. I yeah, don't no, that. I true. don't want to fucking do that. Terrible fuck job. No. Terrible job, isn't it? Yeah. And that's well, when you learned not, my, my not, personality, Ross, is when I fucking called you the night before a film shoot, a movie, and I was like, is it, would it fuck you if I don't show up tomorrow? Oh, and you're boy. like, seeing how you have seven lines and you're supposed to be here at No, nine, no, no. Right? You, had, you had seven scenes. Well, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, but now you know, though, what that's like. True. That entails, but again, yeah. I showed up and then took a fucking night flight, got in at fucking seven in the morning, started training at nine in the morning for a recall class. So I ate that shit shit sandwich yeah well and we don't uh, regret. but i was in a movie we don't yeah, regret. i was in a movie you were in a movie and i'm then a that... ba- i'm not burt coons on tv and i'm then, a famous and, and, movie star and then we did range 15 after that so at least you gained all of that experience of like, yeah right, that cool. was a wait very... what, what movie was this helen, helen keller, keller, keller versus night wolves. wolves have you seen it no you're oh fucking kidding i'll watch it tonight. It's, 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 it's terribly a, awesome it's, oh, it's the best movie of all time i'll watch it with you let's not range 15 is better but you want to come on no 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 but uh so so bert i i do a bunch of spoofs as saint james street james where you're spoofing bad movies from the 70s. 
So there's there's that, and there's Pool Boy Drowning Out the Fury. Uh, go to Amazon Prime. Actually, Helen Keller vs. Nightwolves is free on Amazon Prime right now. Uh, the reason why we're, we're chatting like Jared, this. Jared, can I have uh, some whiskey, too? Kids. Um, we're going to make this a long one, too. Yeah, we're going to make it a really long show, and uh, uh, we got some sad news. I know we've been talking about this, Thank you. this threesome for a few weeks. Um, I flew out here. Uh, the whole the whole gang is together in person. But uh, what ended up happening is two of the participants were stuck in hurricanes. Uh, one was Irma and one was Harvey. So we couldn't get them physically to be here. And it was about, you know, six or seven days before. I looked up, and this is no lie, I looked up prostitution because I was going to hire some prostitutes. <laughs> Ed, but it's illegal. Here. Well, no. Uh, he, so I called. Yes, it is illegal. Very illegal. But they have escort, <laughs> they have escort services in Salt Lake City. Um, they have photos. You can pick out who you want and why and, and everything. So I called. Uh, I called about the, the first twenty three, and they Did you all say twenty three. I called twenty three. I called twenty three in a row and I said, "Hey, uh, will you do girl on girl, guy on you know girl?" At, at guy X, and guy. They they didn't want to do it live on a podcast. They also thought we were might possibly be cops, um, and it it became a little too risky. Where it was just like. Hey man, I, look, I've been arrested before. I don't really give a hey, shit look, about that. And and it get, look, getting arrested for prostitution on Drinking Bros would be even more legendary. Just that headshot, you know, that 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 fucking mugshot. Right. But uh, we could not find a girl to, we couldn't find a, a girl or guy to come and fuck live on air. Uh, so therefore, tonight we are we are actually calling you guys um, since this was, which I'm actually way more amped about because like I got a lot of Instagram fucking submissions about the glory whole thing and all yes. that ideas yes. and like. In theory, it's great, but it get, people get weird. So I think like calling people and getting stories, what we're gonna do today is yep. way more satisfying for me. So what we're gonna do today is, is since, and my marriage. Since this was, <laughs> this was this was the guy's fantasy was to have uh, this threesome um, with people. What we're we're actually going to do since they they you know the two of the participants got stuck in the hurricane, we're actually gonna call you. So we're gonna we're gonna call drink actual drinking bros and and, and ask you about your weirdest sexual fantasy. Um, we've got There's we've got a whole thing lines. of makers. We've got lead slingers. We've got Tito's. I bought ba- I, I bought bullet. You didn't open it. Ah, uh, where's oh, the bullet? I, 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 the lo- makers lo- open. Good call. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. Come on. you're a good friend, Jared. So, so what we're gonna do? We kids, fun. I is, love you, buddy. Yeah, we're you. we're gonna go. Uh, we're all together since you know I flew out. I wasn't gonna cancel the flight. We're all together. My one we're gonna go as long as 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 we can. Just drink. I'm getting fucked. Yeah, up. and see where this <laughs> fucking goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that was that a comma or was that was that was that a no, dot, 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 dot? I'm, I'm, dot, dot, I'm dot, four dot. deep and I just forgot where I was going with that yeah. sentence. You lost in the sauce already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, I have a problem. Why am I fucking so jacked right now? Like I am. It's, it's a little ridiculous. I don't know. It's, Eli's looking better than you these days. Fuck no, he's, <laughs> he's like five foot two. That little fucking midget. <laughs> I, I love you, Eli. I don't. I don't look like that, and I work out the same amount. I don't know why you do that. There's like, no why, way you don't raise. Why me. go to the gym then if 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 you can't get that? Uh, like, you, you want to? He you doesn't make... work out. That no offense. That's like you saying you're on a little shake weight and you work out like me. You don't trust me. I put in two hours a day. Do you really? Yes, and then like well, on Saturday, like go, I, I fight for two hours, yeah. and then I came into work, and then I left again to hit the gym up. I'm fucking motivated. But every time we go together, it's it's like he's, a well. He's, today he's, did not easy, count. Easy, today did not count because I was hungover as shit because you were fucking slinging whiskey at me. Uh, and by you, I meant myself. Yeah, yeah uh, and we both yeah. got ourselves drunk. Uh, and we got drunk like gentlemen. The guy, the guy in the the gym today, some some guy, he's a nice kid, came up and said hi, and he's like, "Well, you guys throwing back shots," and we're like. No, we're fucking old. Like we we were sipping frozen whiskey, like doing edits on the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we happened to finish a whole bottle of whiskey. We happened to finish a whole bottle and, and like uh, a handle because we are genuine real life friends in real like life. Like I went, I, I went out to the Drinking Bros event uh, Friday here in Salt Lake, where Cam Elliot came to visit from Australia. All of them. Yeah, shout first out to time, those guys, man. First time in the U.S. and he flies to Salt Lake. To visit BRCC headquarters. I, I feel bad. Really? I, I didn't get to see those guys as much as I wanted. We were fucking swamped this weekend. Over I apologize, And 25 guys. drinking bros from all over the country Super flew rad. into town. You're kidding. So I, I get a I get a bunch of messages. That's, that must have been what it was. I get a bunch of messages last night. I'm like, hey, man, we're all drinking. Are you, are you coming? And I was like, man, I, I'm not even flying in until 1030. I, like, I'm not even going to get to Matt's house till 11. They were right. like, great, we're still up. And I was like. Fuck! I've been working for like twelve hours yeah. today. Well, like, I was I gone for two come. weeks. I got in late Thursday. Same. I've been and gone then for Friday. Two weeks. They're here, yeah. and I'm like, dude, I have so much fucking work to do. And then we have you know some shitstorm stuff thing. coming. Somebody this was way. Like, like on Saturday, hey, meet us downtown. Nope, 
I went out last night. Last night, that's the most I'll do in the next sixty days. Yeah. yeah. My goal is I try to outwork Evan, but then I realize it's it's physically impossible to do that because he's, he he's he like can't the get Terminator. Me, he can't catch me sleeping. When do you sleep? Never. Good. You, <laughs> no, he naps during the day. I bet he's Kinda, a napper. Yeah. yeah I mean, but... I looked. I looked at him on the couch yesterday when we were in the office, and I was just like, Bleh. Evan's uh, the guy where like yeah. I always try to be like something happened the other day where I I caught something on the back end of her fucking system, and I was like, fuck, this isn't right. Like, and I pushed it to Evan. He goes, Yeah, I found it a couple of days ago. Already tracking on it. I'm like, Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the day it happened. I'm I like, don't sleep so either, quick? Evan. I don't sleep either. Uh, I sleep. I just sleep in like uh, five hour increments. That, yeah, you know? that's exactly. I mean, so I get, I get, I get five, yeah, I five good one. hours a night. Yeah, I get five, one five, five hours a night. No, yeah, Jerry. Like three not to enough. four. It's you not hibernate. Enough. I'll three to four. Right like no. like on the couch yesterday, I do three to four, and then I'm good until about one a.m. And then I'm back up at like five or six. They just need to legalize marijuana because I'm the worst yeah. insomniac. I literally fall asleep yeah. at like eleven or whatever. I wake up at three and I'm up until five, sitting there thinking. Then I fall asleep from like five to eight, and then Dude, I get up know. for the day. I'm, yeah, like, I, I'm back. I get I'm fucking back on physically the, uh, pissed I, every I take, night. I have to take my laptop to bed with me now. I'm back on this thing where. So when you I wake up, to, no, I actually have to put myself to sleep playing a movie or oh. some type of television series. I'm in, I'm in, the, sa- I'm in then, the same boat. Really? And then if I, because if my I wife, wake up, I have to roll that. over yeah. and li- flip open the fucking laptop because if I start thinking about something, I'm fucking... You go down the rabbit I'm hole. Up. Yeah. I'm yeah. up, so I carry this fucking thing. It's yeah. like my night-night. My yeah. late-night like vice night-night. lately has just been hundreds and Alcohol. hundreds of jet, jet ski videos, like just how-tos. Oh, my God. Uh, Mine is... Uh, it's can, a can sea we do, Jared? It's a sea can, can we ban jet ski talk on the podcast? Why? No. No one likes sea dudes dude dude it's, it's, it's a fucking sea dude, jet bro. fits working like <laughs> oh, i will say God. jared took his shirt off at the pool fit. you were there bert and i'm like super super like, surprised he's actually pretty first, fit first time i've ever seen him without a shirt on and, and i was like, like what what does it's not what you would because be because he, he, he has it's shitty posture because posture. It's his posture. he takes yes. his tummy yeah. out and rolls Posture's his shoulder forward. Terrible. Yep. and then when he actually puts his shoulders back you're like how do you actually yeah, have you look, like yeah i mean nice so shoulders in the movie which we're close to finishing that comes out at thanksgiving uh drinking bros live the shave eagle tour uh i saw my wife showed it to her last night and she there's a there's a scene where jared doesn't have a shirt on and she goes, she looks at me. She goes, "Oh my, oh my god, uh, J- Jared is surprisingly not not really fat." It's and I was it's like, "It's an optical Jared, illusion." You're kind of it's like the exact <laughs> opposite of what most guys have. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, that guy looks all right in a t shirt. Then you take your shirt off and you're like, "Oh god, yeah, yeah. Ned Flanders, yeah. shit away." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just chest and arms all day, and then you're like, "Ooh, that's sloppy." <laughs> yeah, but uh, you look good, and I think I think, and this is a guess. But a lot of ladies are going to watch this movie and start sending you some some bean flicking videos, some bean just, flicking you know, vids. So Matt, so Matt's always had his his MMA stuff. You yeah. know that gets him out of the house. Matt's the got a black ski, guy right now. The jet ski has yeah. gotten me out every like three days. Yeah, it has. Like it has. I like it. I know you do. I and I'm do. and I'm and next October is is the blow the Blosian fucking freestyle fest in Oregon. You know what? And there's a lot of people waiting I'm, for I'm that. I'm entering. Ugh, zero. I don't get yeah. it though. It's like you, you go out and do that by yourself. You, the- you, every time I think about you sea doing or jet skiing. <laughs> I think about that kid. Yeah, I think about, think about that, him that kid. That kid in the neighborhood riding his bike all by himself. Like no, because you, I it's can't. Not fun, and then I you see like six kids riding together, tearing shit. I up. I can't go like, by. I, I've never gone by myself because you. I can't because if I hurt myself, I'll drown. You need to buy. Like, you yeah, need yeah, to buy. Like if I'm one, especially on that sure. thing. Like yep. like I have to. I've never gone by myself because if I fuck up in those foot in the footholds or anything and break my leg or whatever that, like you know what I should, yeah. I should go to MMA alone because I'd be a lot better because it's only the bag <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude boy. I got I fucking was telling these guys man I got my ass beat probably the worst out of in, other than a real fight yeah you got a shiner dude I got a shiner left one a shiner bloody the right. nose bloody nose yeah. like I got fucked up Sean put on his 20 ounce gloves and just chased me down and was like it's a UFC fight and I was like well you're like 100 <laughs> times better than me this isn't fair I've never felt that emasculated I've my whole got entire a, life. I've got a good it's one. Terrible. The, the situation that we're in now is so cool, though, and this is why. Is uh, the last two times I went out, I was really trying to get a nose stab down, which is a, a hop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just listen to this. It's a hop and then a full 180. A and nose, I kept, what, what's it it's called? It's called a nose stab. So, yeah, so the, it's you, 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 you hop and then you full 180 and then you... You finish right. it. And you I, drive I, out I, of I it. wish O.J. Simpson so, would have did a no stab. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> uh, I couldn't. The uh, last two times I went, I kept doing the same thing to where 
I would I would fall off the right side trying to do a left side no stab and and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't be so, less into this conversation. <laughs> Same here. This but is like somebody I'm, talking I'm about like a no. stab left side flip but like is, you can't hit the I'm bottom because the undertow is so fucking rad, bro. bro. This is right up there with people talking about larping or Look, par- or parkour. LARPing. Look, I'm not to the cool part yet. So I go home after the second time and I send a message to Luke Road Alone, who's one of the top probably <laughs> five. Alone? Yeah, yeah, Luke yeah. Road Alone. Well, perfect. There's only, f- there's only five people that Australian stand up a jet ski, so he's probably top five. Jet skier. <laughs> perfect last name for a guy who jet skis. Probably Road Alone. T- you're goddamn road. right, because nobody else <laughs> is going with him. <laughs> hey, uh, what's your last name, Road Alone? Yeah, because you're not getting laid tonight, faggot. Like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus, girl. <laughs> he's a, he, we FaceTimed him at your house. He's a nice guy. Remember? We're poking fun. Jared eats alone. But think about it. I message a pro that's world ranked, and he goes, I got you, bro. Tomorrow I'll make a video. So he makes me a video the next day, step by step, and highlighted exactly what I was doing wrong, and then I was able to do it. You should just hand me the guitar, and I'll start playing Blink-182 so he can just live his teenage dream. Yeah, yeah. Parkour. 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 I, are Barley. you interested in sure. LARPing? Because I am. Holy shit. Uh, some we, hot, let, some yeah. hot dudes just we, walked we in. Got a, we got a oh. bunch of dr- drinking bros Hell that yeah. came into the studio. Uh, let, mm. Let's get the sponsors <laughs> going, shall we? So, what we, so we can get these uh, calls underway. Sponsors pay for the whole fucking stink hole to be on the air. Yeah. Um, People pay for this show? Uh, no, weird. I mean, weird. it's not a lot. No, <laughs> it's not a lot. It's it's uh, it, we, it's we literally like devolve- marbles, gypsy tears. Like we get a lot of fucking. Uh, we literally oh, just. Man, we I've made had just, way too we, much fresca. Yeah, you have. We made a fake way business so much. we can get drunk with our friends and chat once a week. Exactly, That's literally what we did. It's twice exactly. a week. I know. Twice a week. Twice a week. If you think yeah, you about know. it, this is episode 200, which means there are 200 hours of us talking shit out there. Crazy, yeah. right? 200 hours. Crazy. Well, and I didn't put it in perspective. So you guys said you, last month you had a million and a half listeners. 1.5 million listeners, yes. So I went and looked at other podcasts to see where... One and a half million listeners is fucking crazy. Crazy. That's like, yeah. that's more that than a lot any of major bros, cities. Man. How, how like cool biggest is radio it? station in, oh, in the country. Yeah. Every every single one. So like uh, businesses in Wilmington were hitting me up of like, hey, can, can we advertise on Drinking Bro? You know, for Wil-? and I'm like, what? And they were like, our radio stations here don't draw those kind of numbers. Yeah. So like, so we, El pa- can't, we can't do that. For example, you know? El Paso, Texas, yep. population eight hundred thousand. Their biggest radio station have around twenty to twenty two thousand listeners. That's wow. It. Yeah, it's nuts. And I went through the rabbit hole last night. My, th- cause I can't sleep either. So. I'm really into those hostess donuts, the crunchy ones, uh, and masturbation. Uh, but what? I took a break. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because you were in your truck wait, wait, somewhere. Wait, wait, Bert. I, Bert. Oh, I interrupted <laughs> him. He Bert was out at the same sh- time? Yeah, no, they're great. He you was, you masturbate and eat at the same time? Those that's little donuts, awesome. the He goes ones. and yeah. parks places and masturbates in his truck. That's, that's, that may or may not be true. Is that real? So, <laughs> yeah, I called him last night. He was like, dude, I'm in my truck. I'm jerking off. Leave me alone. Well, so this is the thing. Where do you go? Parking lots? I learned this I learned this the other day. Safeway? Truck stops. If you're masturbating... <laughs> and, and you get caught if you stop. That means you got caught masturbating. If you keep going, the dude's into gay porn. Yeah. yeah. So you're like, you're yeah. such a faggot. And he's like, you're masturbating. Like, you're gay. Why Dude, are you watching? watching? And then he walks well, off. Well, that's you like the, it term, call it the term seagull. And have you heard that? No. No, <laughs> no it's, it's just like seagull. Please, Google, Google before Google we get into sponsors. on your sponsors, computer over there. Uh, before we get into sponsors, why don't you explain that seagull to me? Because I'm going <laughs> yeah, to need that in my gullet. What is seagull? Seagulling. I'm seagulling. See if it's on UrbanDictionary.com. It is. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. This looks good. See. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Seagulling. Seagulling. When you whack off and come in your hand, then run up to someone and slap them in the face with your salty hand and shout, Seagull! I sure do love seagulling. Matt seagulled me, and now my cheek feels so fertile. <laughs> What? That is disgusting, I'm Bert. Sorry. It's terrible. That is disgusting, I'm not, Bert. See, I'm not the a seagull. British, I'm a Spider-Man kind of guy. The British version is people it. do this at, 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 outside your car window. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like seagulls. No. Anyway. I'll fucking kill someone. Dude, I forgot I think, what I was talking I think, about. I think a more proper definition would be you jerk off, go in your hand, and then you throw it off like a two- or three-story building onto somebody walking. Perfect. That's more of a seagull. So, oh, that's what I say. So I'm not, I, I, I got on the drinking bros. Kevin! <laughs> I we got on still the, haven't received. Dude, I, when hey, we, let's we, uh, no. When give we it walked to him. out of the fucking yeah. Texas airport, I was looking through the whole TSA line, and I was like, "God, I want to mm. light one of these motherfuckers up." <laughs> hey, tell them we haven't received a we haven't received one yet. Wow, we haven't. Nope. That's brutal. Ninety thousand Facebook followers, and nobody's done the Kevin nobody. yet in an airport. 
Who who has ninety thousand followers? Yeah, who are you talking about? Uh, Drinking Bros. Drinking, Drinking Bros. is forty six thousand oh, okay. oh, on the yeah. Facebook page. Oh, it's okay. ninety one thousand inside Drinking Bros. You know who doesn't have yes. that? That's, that's Peacemaker it. Peacemaker that's, Trading Co. So check him out on Instagram. Oh, God, I'm yeah. shameless yeah. in my yeah. fucking or plugs. Or at oh. St James, St James. No. Oh. By the way, yeah. I got plenty yes. of Instagram followers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got some to share. Jesus Christ! Black Rifle passed me though. That's awesome. The company's cooler than me. That's great. Yeah. Well, look, can't wait when you end up on Donald Trump Jr.'s Instagram. When I saw that, I woke up in the morning. Uh, for, th- for those of you at home who didn't see it, I woke up in the morning and I followed Donald Trump Jr. I woke up in the morning and I see a picture of Matt, Evan, and Donald Trump Jr. Just, I mean, really enjoying yourself. Best, like, candid shot of all time. And I thought for sure it was the Black Rifle Coffee feed. And I was like, whoa, whoa hang on. That, that's actually Trump Jr. Like, yeah. what Did you see fuck? who he gave photo cred to? No. I mean, I wrote that in for you, so you got to you got to give me. He shared it. I wrote. I'm just saying, he copied it too. I was good. For my him. Instagram. Did you get a lot of followers from that? No, that was super funny. But you, I, you've never asked me for photo credit. That was cute. Like, hey, photo credit. Well, I just. You I know. know. I didn't get to be in the picture. Which right. I will say, Trump Jr. was cool, man. Like all yeah. policies and everything aside, like he's super pro two A. He's a hunter and like fucking is great. Yeah, so, I, I got to meet him, him here in uh, Wilmington. Pass, his, his pass wife. us to Ross. Tell him to swipe, and he can go through all the we. We got plenty. No, not oh, for oh, you, really? Bert. You've oh, already sorry. seen them all. Jeez. Oh, oh, look at that. Swipe right. Dude, s- send some of these. We'll, we'll post them on uh, Drinking Bros right. Instagram and whatnot. These are great. They're great. And he photos. was really nice. He was yeah. laughing. He was joking. He yep. was a uh, great guy. I met him in Wilmington, North Carolina. Which is I, funny. Like, so one of our titanium super rods, unbelievable, which is nice one of guy. the most expensive products, but it's like the dopest shit because it's super light. He uh, hunts with that everywhere he goes. He really? says it's in my hunting bag and I carry it every time I go kill shit. It, I was like, it, that's it, fucking rad. Yeah, it's, so, my, it's my favorite mug. That's exactly what he said. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, it's like, what, fucking two ounces? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's super, super light. light. It's double wall titanium, which is almost impossible to make. It's fucking, it's a super legit mug. Wow. It's, it's one of my favorite mugs actually too. Fuck. Look yeah. at that, dude. You guys are everywhere. Um, hey, uh, b- before the sponsors, I want to get to that fucking kid about the troll. Oh, yeah. Ah, so good. Listen, he, you hurt his feelings. I don't give a fuck about that. Come on. He likes you. The, the guy he was, does like you. Guy was a he fucking, likes you. Guy was a fucking asshole. He went through all of my posts and hashtagged Baker Mayfield and all, all And that's shit. awesome. He trolled you. Ugh. Family, friends, like pictures he of my wife. He said that you balked on a, on a full-on bed. Not true. So, so, so I'm just saying, this. Is, do you want me to read what he wrote? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but here's the thing. So anyways, he kept trolling me for two weeks before this game. It was Ohio State, Oklahoma. Right, uh, which I didn't. I don't. I don't care. But I was just tired of, of getting shit written on my wall. So I go. You know what? Since you love your team this much, and I appreciate your passion, we'll, we'll do a bet. Loser has to put a video up of if if their team loses that their team sucks. Um, so I did. So you can go to you can go to my Instagram. I posted it right after the game, and I said, Hey man, you know what? Congratulations. Posted the video. It's still on at St James. St James. Everybody can see it. Didn't take it down. Left it up. And he wrote me back, and he said, Hey. Fuck, I didn't think you'd actually do that. You're a first-class guy. And I was like, eh, bet's a bet, no worries. Take care. Thought that was the end of the the troll. Next day, put a photo up of me and my wife. And he put, that's not Baker Mayfield. And I was like, okay, now you're just being a fucking troll at this point. And and I go. I, I think you missed part of the bet. Because I think the bet included something about having a Baker Mayfield sticker on your phone. No, I don't. Where the fuck would you even get a sticker of ba- Baker Mayfield? I don't know. Uh, if it's BakerMayfieldStickers.com. Yeah, yeah, that's not yeah, a thing. Actually, that's it's, not a I mean, thing. Weird thing. moose. So stuff what, 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 I, right now. what I did was because the guy is not the, that that guy that he loves is not really liked, and yeah. uh, there was vi- there was a video viral uh, that a video that went viral maybe five months ago of him getting tackled. He was drunk as shit. He got uh, was in Arkansas partying, and he tried to run from the cops. Well, the boys in blue. Caught up to him. And smashed his face off a fucking ledge. Brick wall. Right off a brick wall. No, that was a ledge. And so he, Baker Mayfield's on the crown, the cops are on top of him, and he starts crying. He goes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Whoever shot this must have been like uh, fucking Michael Bay's DP or Steven Spielberg. It was the the most pristine dash cam footage. All of it across the board. Perfect audio, everything else. And I said, Hey, man, for being a fucking troll and doing this, I'm just going to make a fucking video about you. And I was very honest. And I said, yeah, I'm going to make a fucking video about you. Like, I was cool. I held up my, my end of the bargain with the bet. Um, and I go, you're, you're about to feel the wrath of the Internet. And he was like, go ahead. And then all of a sudden, bulls on parade. I dropped the video. I didn't even put it on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody chimed in and was just like, man. Because I asked Jesse, I was like, have you ever seen... 
just somebody make a video against one troll. Just go after one troll and then yeah. see what that does. Yeah. And like, uh, I hadn't seen it. She hadn't either. And I was like, this would be really fun. I had a 5 a.m. flight. I made it in my staircase. And uh, Austin Krause is the fucking dude's name. So that's why I don't go after trolls because I, I know no, that I their wives neither. would fuck me, and I just say that's fucking. Heavy. But no. I sleep he, with that I every think night. Austin still shit. likes you though, but possibly. I don't give a shit. Hey, I, come I mean, on. My I, history with on. you. Let's be fair. Like, like, like. I'll, be I'll, be, I'll be fair with my historical history with you. Sure. Historical history yeah. um, is you do, re, you know, live up to your bets. Yeah, I do. I do. You've every, got every a fucking time. perm. Bro. I got well, if that's the case, then when is one of you guys going to shit in a diaper and the other one has to change? Well, I've been hearing about that for a year. We nuked that one. We nuked that. What's the other one? No, we're changing it. We're changing it. So poop Jared and I oh. now have an annual Super Bowl, so uh, we won't know that answer until February. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, we always live up to our bets. I got a fucking perm. Uh, I got right now. I'm currently have a, a fucking bowl cut from that the last video. Right now, Evan. Yeah, I think it's great. It is. You hate it. You hate uh, it. You know, it's fine. It, ah, it's, 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 it is. It's I, I look like a Lego character. You it's look like, like you walk in and said, "Could I get the uh, boys regular?" You guys please? here for the gangbang? You guys here for the gangbang? Could I get That's the, what it looks the like. boys regular, please? And here's my report card because I got straight A's. So <laughs> you know what I'm here on. for? The greatest energy drink of all time: Strike Force oh, Energy. Oh, you look, look like the girl yes. actor in Boys <laughs> Don't Cry. Oh my God, I feel like Juno. I look like a young Juno. I feel like a young Juno. Would you keep the baby? Fuck no, I wouldn't. Look, somebody's got to do chores yeah um <laughs> yeah that's awesome i was gonna that, say that's what rocco did it was great he like he created a chore army so like, oh yeah yeah cleaning the fucking house doing all the painting, yard work be painting, painting. Yeah. like it's impressive oh yeah because when like, mexican children are different than white children oh yeah they're they actually work, work. They're they're they actually work. work. yeah yeah. Fucking, yeah me having six children is not gonna do anything for no, society no rocco's they're Jesus just gonna Christ. complain yeah 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 Dad, yeah, the Wi-Fi isn't working. I God, know, yeah, I know. Dad, the, the iPad Wi-Fi. isn't updated. This Dad, isn't a Wi-Fi. Yeti. I'm not drinking out of a Yeti. My yeah. ice is whoa, really whoa, whoa. running. Now, the last, the last <laughs> couple times I've been over at Evan's house, his his daughter's tiny, and she's out there like picking chickens up and running around doing her chores. Well, that's because he's a rad dad. Like, yeah, 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 he's rad. Let's not let's not give dad. up on white your daughter, kids yet. Your daughter weirds me out, dude, because like how tiny she is compared to like other kids I know, and she's like, "Hi, so I like so articulated." I'm like. Like you're a fucking like adult yeah. human nope. at three years old. Hey, four. We're, we 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 got the same child. Where it's like my wife, and you can tell me if your wife does this. Talks to them, makes them say things back in a full sentence, and that's how they fucking learn. Most parents, it's like, hey, throw yeah, throw yeah, throw yeah. a bucket of chicken on the floor. Right. You can just grunt for the first five years of your life, and then figure it out once <laughs> yeah. you get into an organized school system. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then and then yell at public school systems because they suck. Well, yeah, they, do. Yeah, yeah. they do, but you know, ah, they're fine. Uh, look, I, you know, I, I came out all right. You know? eh. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get into that strike force, shall we? Uh, strikeforceenergy.com wow. is uh they they've been with us from, from the beginning. We're we're 200 episodes in. Uh they've been here since day 1. Um not only like genuinely. So on 200 like we'll give you the real deal. Their fucking shit is is actually great and we actually drink it. Everybody uses it. Your whole fucking office uses it. Uh my the, my whole side of the coast uses it. It's one of those products that uh, literally we've never had a problem with over over the years, and it's great. Um, so go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. It's the tastiest, tiniest little tin pouch full of energy. Uh, it goes in any beers, waters, uh, or, liquids. Orange juice. Pussy. Yeah. It goes in pussy. Orange juice. It goes, it goes, bird. Pussy. It goes there, real well in pussy. Your phone's just playing music right now. Yeah, Bert. Jesus. Oh, Bert. Bert. I just turned it off. I'm Bert like, from TV. Where is his feedback? Yeah, he's not right Bert now. from radio. It's Bert from, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Turn it off. Turn off your top You're 40. Playing lights Casey, out. Casey, Casey. You, know what, you know what you guys should do for the Super Bowl is whoever loses their Could team, you? you have to take a shot of your own cum with strike force in it. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> Come on, yes. Derek. Captain. In a Captain one, a one ounce cup, <laughs> nice and warm, God. 98.6 degrees. Jesus. Yes. Or <laughs> heated. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. 30 seconds with a lid on it. Jared's going to throw up right now. Oh. God, he is really yes. close. You're on the edge of glory right now. Yes. You are on the edge of fucking and then you gotta right shake now. it so you get like you know how the consistency you have like the sperm and then the seminal fluid <laughs> oh, he took oh, off his headset perfect. he took off his fucking delta headset right now and the passengers are flying the plane <laughs> you first, just hit the autopilot first, yeah, the first autopilot. officer just hit autopilot yeah. boy uh, uh, well, let's get back <laughs> into strike force strike force energy you can kick the can kids you don't need the can anymore you can keister you can throw it out the window you don't need monster you don't need kickstart you don't need five hour energy because that tastes like 
dog shit. Can you butt chug it? You, you, can, you can take it rectally. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't done it in a while. I'm going to try that uh, tomorrow morning. So, hey, you, you know what? You can throw a little on your cock and slide it in and ask the girl what she thinks. No, whoa, you put it in an whoa, ice whoa. cube. You freeze it in the freezer. Make an ice cube. You keister that, and it melts over time. That's a slow release method. Big, big fan. Yeah. Big fan. No, 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 no. You know what happens like when you eat a bunch of spicy stuff and your butt hurts after having a big poop? Oh, yeah. oh boy! Oh boy! You, oh, you have to get a carrot oh, no. and you dip it in water and freeze the carrot, and then you. Oh, is that, have you done that? Have you put a frozen carrot inside of your person after baby carrot after or a full shit? Size no, full carrot. size carrot. You want the fat end. <laughs> you yes. don't want the fat yeah. end. Wait, no, you go you fat want the to skinny. skinny. Yeah, I go skinny to fat. That's not I'm how going anatomy works. I'm going to give credit to Baker. He taught me that. Genetically, uh. one of those genetically engineered carrots. Uh, like, I don't even carrot. walk by them anymore when, in the grocery store because I'm so When your pee hole so hurts, you use a frozen carrot. God damn it, Jared. I, I, like, I'm here with you in person, and I can't believe that came out of your mouth. Like, I'm watching you say this out of your mouth. And I can't believe it. I honestly can't. A baby, no, a no, carrot, no, you a don't full put carrot. it in. You just put a pillow under your your pelvis, and then you let it just lay in between your cheeks. <laughs> oh, so you go, you cheek it. You fuck? split the cheeks with it. What I thought fuck? you inserted it so no, you could feel the cold. That's weird. Cold in there. Yeah, yeah. And the whole, the whole, put a pillow under your pelvis. That's like a Muslim yeah, burial lift, out to sea. Is that like, like a, a oh, fucking pillow liberator? You gotta lift, you gotta lift, you gotta lift it up. You know. I'm oh, super confused boy. by this. Is <laughs> this is this to get rid of vape ass? Like <laughs> yeah, when you're it raw feels back good. there. Yeah, it feels okay. real good. Boy, cold a carrot, frozen, a cold carrot, yeah. a frozen. Don't carrot. eat it though afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you're not putting it in a salad. Um, <laughs> go to strikeforceenergy.com. Support the show. Support our friends. Uh, we're, we're extremely grateful. They were, they were a sponsor in the movie as well. Uh, StrikeForceEnergy.com. They have a subscription of the Month Club. They have a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, they got four flavors. They got uh, original, uh, lemon, orange, and make America grape again. That are all fantastic. They get a 750 milliliter bottle that sits on your, your counter. You can just boom, boom, pop a couple boom, squirts boom. in and go. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Type in the promo code Drinking Bros for 20% off. Next up, we've got ghostbed.com. Oh. You're, you're sleeping on one right now. Oh, my house, Ross. boy. I'm sleeping like a fucking baby on Quaaludes on it, too. Really? Oh, real. Quaaludes? Yes. I usually oh, give yeah, kids yeah. NyQuil and some tequila. I, I usually give them a clown mask and a, and a lawnmower. And I'm like, yeah. let's figure it out. Yeah. Let's figure. Put your hand under there or put your hand over here. Your call. It either goes underneath the mower or on my cock. Your call. Yeah. Um, oh, was that too much for you, Bert? I'm sorry. Was that too much for Bert Koontz? He actually backed away and took a knee like you're Rudy. Oh, whoa. Like you're fucking Rudy. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Sleep so good it's scary. Um, that's what that's that's what their slogan should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. a ghost noise? That yeah, is, it, it is. sounds like you gargling. Fucking, it cum. is. No. Uh, rumor has it John Benet Ramsey sleeps in a ghost bed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she doesn't. Wow. She doesn't sleep anywhere anymore. <laughs> she doesn't sleep anywhere anymore. She's, uh, she's gonna reappear at like 24 years old and be a hammer. No, I know. It's gonna, I know. I, I uh, yeah. It's, uh, on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries, re- I, you know, reboot. I'm, I'm surprised <laughs> Ghost Bed lets us talk like this because I was, uh, I was just like, oh man, this would have been the perfect bed for Lacey Peterson. R.I.P. Can you? But ima- she's no longer here. Can like, you be? A great, a, can you bed. imagine being at a company and you're like the CMO and you're like, I think Drinking Bros is a great marketing outlet for our company. And then they uh, they, they really play about the first one in a board and, meeting. Uh, fucking yep. carrots in yep. the asshole. This is a perfect. Wind. This it's is our not tam. in We're the gonna asshole. Go it. It's not in the. It's just laying on it. Yeah. It's 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 split. like how is it in between the cracks? Yeah. It's, or yeah, just, it's between yeah, the cheeks. But you want the fat part He's right on the hole the because it's <laughs> the most surface area of the cold. Splitting the cheeks. Um, <laughs> go to ghostbed.com. How, how are you feeling over there? Uh, it's Jared. You know, <laughs> that's Jared. <laughs> Every time Jared talks like that, Evan in his mind is either checked out. Or you're thinking about like different ways that he'll die, <laughs> like in a later on in life, and you're like, he's Man, worried about CEO problems. How is, he gonna, <laughs> how is he gonna die? How is Jared gonna die, and how are we gonna spin this? He's gonna outlive all of us, you know that. Right? I bet. I yeah. bet he will. Yeah. yeah, I bet he will. I think that would I suck. I if think, I have to go to all you guys' funerals, like, well, ew. ew. You you know for a fact that's gonna happen. Like, I can see you like maybe asphyxiating too close. To where you like half your face he's has a stroke. He's not that weird sexually. He's not. He's into like mish. Well, you know, mish and carrots. I've heard you. You've you've re- you've really gotten into some new things. 
<laughs> yeah, carrots in the asshole. <laughs> Jesus, man. We have we have the fucking Roger Rabbit of uh, sexual techniques. A carrot in the goddamn asshole. Um, mm. Fuck. Uh, where are we? Ghostbed. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yes. Get Perfect yourself a segue. fucking bed. Lay down. Uh, look, if you if you just took a healthy shit. And you got to lay down on something, and you want to put a carrot between your cheeks. Just cool off, cool off the area. Maybe you had a, you made a jalapeno dip at your favorite Mexican restaurant. One of those seeds is still still caught in that wrinkled penny, and you're like, man, I can't wipe it out. This just keeps burning. Yeah. Drape a carrot in there. Go lay down face bed on a, on a ghost bed. Got to soak yeah. it in water. Put it in the freezer for at least an hour. You're goddamn right, you do. Yeah. You don't go thirty with that. You go a full hour. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get fifty dollars off a mattress. You get three free pillows. Um, <laughs> and, you, and you get a lifetime of magic. Uh, tell them, tell them Jared sent you, or don't. It's it's a it's a computer. You can't talk to it. Uh, just type in the promo code Drinking Bros, fifty bucks off. And they also got a pay as you go plan. Love Ghost Bed, big fan. People were supposed to fuck on it today. They weren't. Instead, oh, we're here. I, we have two ghost beds in the house. Someone's getting fucked tonight. I you thought that's what right these there. two gentlemen here were here for. I did. Yeah. I did a I nice mean, spread eagle jack, by the way. Spread, you did, did you jack off on my I, ghost bed? What I do is I go full out, like legs, legs out, out, and then two hand, and I basket weave it. I, put, basket I intertwine weave it, these really? fingers, and then I... That's a long pull wow. right there. I don't, I don't yeah, believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I go because I gotta. You gotta go thumb to thumb on the back end of that to get the whole the whole front of that shaft. And you're like, ah. wow. I feel like I, I'm in. I'm a Viking on a on a boat. Hold on. So are you like? I don't jerk off in other people's houses. I don't either. Really? I don't either. You no. can totally jack off my shower zone. I don't. I don't do it. There's a floor drain. Oh, Wait, hold God. on. Like, <laughs> oh boy. This and you're is, like, oh, it's a wet piece of soap. It's an extra piece of soap. This is come. Ross. I have, a, I have a question. Are you are you wait till I'm just about to come to find where I come or do you do you prep? Are you like, all right, here's my fucking Kleenex, my nope. sock, whatever that or you just fucking hammer it out and you're like pre planned. Huh! Everything is pre planned. I come on a lot of hotel floors because I don't care about them and they're disgusting, so I like to add to the yeah, fucking then you just And then you just it. like where like you're jacking little, off a, like Yeah, you just roll over yeah, on the side, you just steaks, right in the yeah. side. Steaks yeah. are steaks two hundred. I, I love to go inside the pillows. Steaks are too high <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boy. Housekeeping's gonna find out who you are and they're gonna take some of that and they're gonna impregnate themselves. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no I make sure, can, can I make I sure it's dry. I make sure it's dry. I, we had a thing where it was like, where's the worst place you can come in a hotel room? I came on a lampshade inside the Bellagio <laughs> at, uh, during SHOT Show. Dead ser- that pulled out and just, go, go, all over so, this lampshade. No, the thing about like, it is they only change the pillowcases. So if you open it up and just blow in the pillow. Like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're just an asshole. So that's, hey, that's the whole reason I don't use those fucking like, half market <laughs> Korg machines and fucking things because like, Anybody could put anything yeah. in that fucking reservoir, yep. and you wouldn't know about it. You're like, oh, I just pour the little cup of water there and just hit the button, and it's going to be great. And there's fucking cum in your drink. I I'm good. Uh, the coffee's uh, already yeah. fucking terrible. I, I, I've never <laughs> jacked off in a Keurig, but that's next. No, please don't. That's don't next don't, on don't my be list. that guy. Yep. Don't yep. be that guy, and man. Don't be that up. guy. The best part of waking up is, is coming inside your cup. cup. Yeah. Uh, go to ghostbed.com and enjoy yourself. <laughs> live your dreams. Said, man. Find your journey. Find your journey. Next up, uh, we've got we've got warfightertobacco.com. Uh, if you don't got them, go get them and smoke them. Um, they're good for pregnancies, like you know, <laughs> expected or not expected. You're gonna want to smoke a cigar afterwards, and they're good for meeting your dad for the first it's time. It's a good. It's a good post. You know? It's a, that is nice. If you were adopted, it's a good post-abortion um, cigar. It is. Totally kidding. <laughs> God, wow. worst marketing ever. I'm totally kidding. It, you, you, know, you know, nothing goes better with a nice cigar yeah. than a coat hanger. That's it's, what yeah. a lot of people. They've got them, they've got them customized. It yeah. could have been a boy or a giril. Right. <laughs> it could have been a it C- could have cigars been a. for when you have an eighth trimester abortion. It's like, blue. Wait, and he was pink. seven years old. What it the was, fuck? He was seven and you killed him. It, yeah, that's not an abortion. That's seven murder. Years old. Well, Technically, you can, you it can argue both sides. Right? It was a radiator fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, go to warfightertobacco.com. <laughs> 100% uh, combat veteran owns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rocco's a cone. Big poppies in there. Yeah, know? big poppies He's in there. Them. There are Cuban seeds hand rolled in the Dominican Republic for, for from child labor that, you know, I'm sure gets paid 26 cents an hour. And uh, no, I'm totally kidding. They pay solid, they pay the they pay solid. the children like a good forty five. Nothing says um, child workers like lower margins. Uh, ever, Thank you. Ever. <laughs> uh, no, Warfighter Tobacco has been with us for for a long, long time. 
Big fan of their company. Big fan of Scott Jansen and the boys. Go to their sites, warfightertobacco.com. Type in the promo code Drinking Bros. You get 10% off, uh, and that's including their apparel. And we like their T-shirts. Their T-shirts ended up, uh, everybody's wearing them in the movie. Uh, so they're in the movie, and uh, they have great cigars. If if there is a cigar store near you and you would like their cigars in there, just go in, tap the owner on the shoulder, uh, sh- show him that you're an appendix carry guy so you're not fucking around, and then email Scott, and he's going to get those cigars in the store for you real fast, real fucking fast. Uh, and lastly, lastly on the show, we've got Black <laughs> Rifle Coffee. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Evan Hafer, while I get Black a drink? Rifle coffee is a Black Rifle stuff. Coffee. Uh, you know, I, I think that we, we got to address the kind of the elephant in the room, right? Which is there are a ton of coffee companies now that are kind of following suit. Yeah. Uh, we're the only veteran owned or the largest veteran owned coffee company basically in the United States at this point. And uh, we've got a couple drinking bros here. We had a bunch of guys here yesterday. They toured the facilities, so they got to see all the coffee. We and own our own roaster that's we in own our the own roaster. building. It's in our own building. Yeah, we don't that's hire ours. that shit out yeah. and hire communists to roast People our that have Hillary posters <laughs> yeah. up in there. Like, up in there. Well, you well, guys are great shit. Well, we do. That's yeah, fucking great. You know? So, you know, and the other thing that we do here is we print our shirts and we roast our coffee. We're pretty proud of that. Uh, what that does, that creates jobs for for people that we like to hire that kind of fit the culture and the community that we're trying to build out with Black Rifle Coffee. It's not the easiest thing to run a ton of different employees. I'm going to tell you that uh, how many? How many are here? Uh, 86 employees. Yes, and, so, and a, a majority of them are either veterans eight, or 80, veterans. 85 now. I just I quit. Veteran spouses. <laughs> I, I'm going to quit in episode 200. Hey, can, can you hire me, Bert? Absolutely, you're perfect, hired. Perfect. Veteran or you veteran spouses. That's right. Pretty much, yeah. yeah and, and if you don't mind uh, to cap it, if you will, uh, mm-hmm. I want to I give a shout out to <laughs> Peacemaker Trading. That's right. Um, went to the uh, Alabama FSU game. Peacemaker for a, Trading Company. Peacemaker Trading Company. Thank you. Um, ah, I get a I had a, I had a, fa- I had a nice fancy celebrity thing to go to, and I need I need an exact color of a shirt. Uh, I called up Bert. He had it at his company, and he fucking overnighted it to me. And I can't thank you enough. I had an early flight, and I Bert, got there fucking. 6 Bert PM. Koontz is one of the greatest Stand-up humans guys. on this planet. That's I'm serious. That. Stand up guys. Oh no, you're a piece of shit. But you're one of the greatest <laughs> people on the planet. I am an asshole, a piece of shit. That's for sure. And your no, cl- your, your clothing and uh, hats are amazing, and uh, I'm, I'm I greatly appreciate it. I will say, always and, like, looking to help. It's, it's funny, like all this stirring the pot, and like we're not going to get into this because we made we, like fucking trolls and all that shit. But like at the end of the day, man, like we're always gonna have haters. I'm the probably the number one fucking guy that gets all that shit too. Oh, yeah. But it is yeah. what it is. Like we're doing something so cool with this company and like what we see life changing with fucking individuals like i'm amped so it's like you want to say matt fuck you fuck yeah do it i don't give a fuck because i know what we're gonna do and i know with through peacemaker and yeah, black and, rifle and, and all you friends saying companies, fuck like, you it's great. doesn't d- take away from and how many people and the troll conversation that came uh, like like just this weekend alone. it's great like all the guys that flew into town for this and how many times they came up and told me their personal story while I was out, and and how Drinking Bros, dude, the group. I'll make a cool. I'll has, make a cool thing. Like has when, changed when you their watch lives. the live movie because you yes. watched it, Jared. We're doing the fucking edits on this thing right now. I got a that fucking kid almost fucking made me tear up. It was the guy that talked to Rocco. Didn't know Rocco. He was just he movie, posted yeah. something in and was movie, like, yeah. "I'm fucked in life." Rocco calls his dude and saw, spent like an hour on the phone with him, and then he's like, "I, I'm like, whatever he's doing now, he's like, he's like, I'm about to graduate about college. To graduate college, college yeah. and when he's like, I, he's like, I don't know if I'd be alive if fucking Rocco would have made that call." And you're just like, "Dude, that's fucking dope." And that's what so many people behind the scenes are doing, but they don't post about it because that's not what the community like. It, it's dope. Well, I, again, I, I got down a rabbit hole on the Drinking Brothers, the Drinking Bros page last night and two of the posts that stood out to me was Rocco posting about hey if you're ever out there feeling alone down yeah. whatever I'm here but then you go a little bit further down and his dad posted as well yeah and his dad posted veteran, Rocco's veteran, dad is so fucking veteran awesome firefighter. Cut Carlos. I, I was blown away man like it was just yeah. cool it, it's just you guys got a really really and, yeah. unique and awesome community within Drinking Bros man it anybody is, that wants to go get they can special. suck my fucking dick or they can just exactly. fight me let's just, just fight yeah, like, yeah, I just, just want to fight hey you want to talk shit come up and I got fight. my fucking ass beat yeah. yesterday so I'm not I'm not great so but I'll still fight you I'm yeah. down with yeah. that I'm fucking down mm, yeah. we have we have police in the room so can we really? I forgot that was the bar I forgot that was the barter last night you can't make fun of MMA anymore say I'm gonna get hurt like okay that's true. Yes, that's true. I can't. I can't, I can't say that. Even anymore. though my LCL is a little funky today. Are we authorized to fight? Today. But what I what I will say <laughs> can is we, this. can we fight in Los Angeles? Yeah, perfect. We can. Yeah, there we yeah, go. We can. There's the playing field. Uh, come to, come to L.A. All, all I said was this, and this naked is, this naked is, wrestling is all I do. This though. is the last I'll say of this because because look, we did we we did have that, yes. that mutual agreement. 
you 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 have a beautiful face. You're a beautiful man, Thanks. and that is the brand. Therefore, something yeah. happens to that. Uh, is Ugly Matt selling coffee good enough? Probably not. Well, the beauty Probably of that not. is Black Rabbit Coffee can stand alone because it's such an epic company. It doesn't well, need, it doesn't need my tattoo douchebag ass to promote it. He transitions over more to the radio. You know, if his face gets all yeah, yeah, you know, but yeah. nobody wants nobody wants a face for radio. You don't want to hear that comment when you're out. <laughs> oh God, love your work. You get a yeah. real face for radio. No, people say I have the body for radio. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You do. <laughs> you got a scrotum for for never being out at all uh, in public. Um, but now we're gonna we're gonna do some calls. We're gonna call some uh, drinking bros and ask them their weirdest sexual fantasies. God, we're, gonna, we're gonna let this ride out. I'm on right. my second whiskey right now. Your, your yeah. second? Yeah. I'm like on five. Well, well we, you're now we went hard in the paint. Last night right. we went hard in the paint. So I'm so gonna, you I'm should gonna just whoa, 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 whoa. now. Okay. You both should just be now Jared, coming over that curve. Jared, can yeah. I can I can I just interrupt you here because Ross is lying his ass off. He had a Sapporo and two sakis at fucking lunch. Oh today. shit! That's oh right. my yeah. god! Yeah, yeah, you did. That was like an hour ago, yeah. and I forgot about that. Yeah. Literally, I just hand Noel oh, the keys. We went to boy. lunch, and we're like, we're, the, we're kicking this hangover with more booze, more booze. Solid. 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 How did I forget? Are you ready that? for these calls? <laughs> Jesus no. Christ! Yeah, I'm ready. All right, all right. Fire away. Oh, it's Tomas. Let's know, let's know that it's checked. He has briefed us that shit's about to get weird. Tomas. All right, yeah. we'll find out. He's gonna pick up the answers fucking, fucking phone. phone, dude. Jesus Christ. I know. Who lets it ring oh. this much? Tomas! Tomas! Hello. Tomas! Can you hear us, buddy? Can you hear us, Tomas? Uh, <laughs> this this is Drinking Bros podcast, and you're live on the you're air. You're live. Holy shit, you guys are kidding me. No, 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 no we're you're not in. Kidding you. You're in, my friend. You you told us it was oh about to get weird, so we are banking on it getting weird right now. Real weird. Oh my god, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I, you wanted uh, what was it? Sex stories or something? No, like no, sex no. We want to know your sex fantasy. I, I want to know. We want to know your weirdest sexual fantasy. Um, not and, physical stories. Yeah, not physical stories. Something that you've always wanted to try, but maybe no, that special lady has never let you do it. Or or special man. Or man. Man. No. Oh, it, it is. Man. Oh, it is man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. It'd probably be like something along the lines. If, if I could actually recreate a scene from At Night She Cries while he rides at speed, that would be good for me. You're goddamn right it would. With the pregnant Asian? Oh, the, the, the nine-month pregnant Asian who has yeah. to move all the heavy rocks downstream yeah. two that, miles that out of the one, way? Or, I would say that one or definitely like... Uh, when uh, St. James Street James fucking requests the three women who can do who have a background in acrobatics. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, right acrobatics, because you want them flexible, but, but you also you know want to be able to enjoy yourself as a person. Let me ask you this. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you like that a girl's asked you to do? Well, okay, okay. This is why I made this comment right on Drinking Bros. I've got the story that's just going to give you even worse PTSD than what you got. All right, here it is. <laughs> so th there, there's this ex-girlfriend chick I had who, you know, she, she was a fan of the butt stuff. And I'm like, cool, man. You like that? I like that. It's a good time. And uh, It's a good time. You see, basically, she, she started to get really annoying and shit, and you know, you know how that goes. So I heard about this move. Called the Bohemian Snap. And I <laughs> whoa, think I'm whoa! Going to I'm, I'm sorry. This a lot. <laughs> for, the, for the audience, just just one uh, more time, cleanly. That was the Bohemian Snap. Snap. Okay. Yeah, the Bohemian Snap. This is what you do. Okay. The Bohemian Snap. I mean, if if the chick likes it, then you have a total sex freak, and she probably does porn. But this is a good way to break up with girls that are determined. You see, what you do is you keep your middle finger and you stick it, you know, in the puss, you know, just like normal. And she has to be in the doggy position. All right. So middle fingers in the puss. Then you take her your thumb and you stick it in her ass. And then you know how uh, you feel that skin in between? You know, <laughs> yep. kind of like where the kink is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just snap your finger really fucking hard. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I was yeah, not Yeah, literally run off the bed and run for the shitter. I did it to her like three days in a row, and that's how I got her to break up with me. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So, so did, she, did she shit in front of you, and, like in your person? No, fuck no. She literally, I did the snap thing, and then she fucking, like, screamed and, like, literally was on, like, hands and knees running for the john, and, like, she's like, oh, my God, what the fuck was that? And I was like, oh, thought you were into that kind of shit. 
Oh boy, the Bohemian snap! I feel like that make you poop. You this know, that's that's I, a lot. Bravo! This hey, you're you're our first call of the uh, of the nights, and uh, I got to be honest with you, uh, I'd I'd that's... have been happy if this was the last call. That was amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. A Bohemian snap I've never tried before, um, but you're gonna. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a little it's a little uh, sketchy. Let's just say it. Say yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've I've done the Sierra Leone before with a girl. What's um, that? Where I give her a diamond and then I chop off her hands like she stole from me. Um, there you go. And it's you know it's always a surprise, but uh, you know it's I feel like a respected leader and I'm like you give me the diamond, you give me the diamond. Like I talk to her in a voice of like an authoritative figure. So uh, man, I, look, I I appreciate you being on the show. Are you single now? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I'm kidding. Well, that was rhetorical. I, 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 After I'm doing that, of course you're single. Right now, yeah. I, uh, I've been watching a lot of Derek White's videos, and I've lost over 100 pounds right now. So I'm looking for some ladies, you know? Look at you. Oh, yeah. Look at you. 100 pounds. I did the Proud Bohemian snap yeah, with, my, my, so. with my tongue. Drinking broettes, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your full name for the broettes? Because maybe after this, there's some bro out out there who's that looking for a nice Bohemian, Bohemian snap. snap. Yeah, it's just Thomas Pyburn. Tom, boom. Boom. Thomas oh, Tyburn t- for the win. Tommy Tyburn. Well, thanks for being on the show, dude. Thank You're you for being awesome. on Thank episode you. 200. We love you, Fuck man. Fuck yeah, guys. Thanks for doing Drinking Bros. I've been following you guys since day one. Rock on, motherfuckers. Woo! Fuck yeah. 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 All right. Like, All I'm, right. Not in, I'm not into coffee creamer, but I'd mix that motherfucker in my morning coffee. That's some motivation right there. You know what I'm Hell saying? Hell yeah. I don't want him to bohemian snap my yeah, asshole. I, I don't know. That, what, is man, that one I've on the balls? i heard that. I, look, and I'm going to be honest. I know a lot of sexual... Uh, innuendo terms that never, one I've never, never heard, heard, never heard of the Bohemian never heard. snap. No. Like I was going, I was following through. Like oh, same here. And Whoa. like I had it visually, and I was like, oh, all right, Ooh. it all makes sense. Yeah. But that is painful. Yeah, that's that's really stretching. That's gonna be a turn and burn type of sitch. Uh, ready for sh- another one? Oh yeah, fire away. Yeah, yeah, we're going fire on. away because we're we're just gonna keep firing away tonight and and just really figure out our lives as well as everyone else's. Um, but uh, I I feel real good about this show after that first call. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh God, you're at a party, aren't you? Are you party? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm having dinner with my roommates then. Perfect. Then, What's going on? Yeah, What's up? Well, it's time for you to tell us, you know, the 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 craziest sexual fantasy that you have. Uh, oh God, I didn't even think about it to be honest. Um, <laughs> so you volunteered without thinking. I is it yeah, is I it did. me, Matt, in a white van? That'd be awesome. To be there without thinking, and you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. What, hmm. what what's your craziest sexual fantasy? You ever been stabbed? <laughs> uh, I would. I would not. I would rather not almost die during sex that would well you know what the reason why i ask that a lot of people like to go right to the edge right to razor's edge um because if you're if you're not close to death in a a weird sexual scenario sometimes you're just not alive um (laughs) there's got to be something though deep down are you a dress-up girl uh, are you a dress up boy? Do you do you like your father to watch? Like maybe your grandfather walks in like <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. No, but 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 there's always something. I guess I guess, you know, my my biggest thing was, you know, what almost happened and I'm missing out on it now, but um cuz I've actually never been involved in a threesome. I've never hooked up with a chick. <laughs> Wow! Can, yeah, can yes. you direct message me on my Instagram page? <laughs> <laughs> can you go to Matt's best official on Instagram and and, uh, and have him hit you? No, we're we're, we're teasing. This is we're our teasing. homie with the ponies. But but so so you've never had a threesome in your entire life, right? <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, okay. okay. Uh, wait, wait do you, so the threesome you want is that? MMF, or do you want another uh, two females and a guy? Like, what's what's the prime situation? Uh, two girls and a guy. Nice. That's oh, a nice. solid. That's a solid. solid that's a solid, solid move. Solid want. You know. What, yeah. or would you want to yeah. be like the dominated one or like the the submissive one? What What, what do you want? Would you want the girl to tell you what to do? I think it would have to be like a healthy mix of like you know who got the attention. A healthy mix. <laughs> oh. I, look! Look at that! Mm. Everybody loves that nice, healthy mix. Yeah, right. um, usually, mine's por- <laughs> mine's Puerto Rican and uh, Somalian. Um, that's my mix. Uh, let me ask you it's this: like a two-stroke uh, engine. Are you are you a, are you a Caucasian girl? Yes. Okay. Uh, look, we're an audio show. People can't see your skin color. Not only that, but uh, but Matt doesn't see race. 
So um, that's, I see that's holes. important. I yep. see holes. Doesn't see color. Doesn't see race. He, see, he have sees you, availability. Have you ever been with a black guy? No. Uh, out of out of fear or like uh, you know what, what's the uh, <laughs> oh my God. no Black Lives Matter? <laughs> the situation just never came up. <laughs> oh, the situation just never oh. came up. Because um, I was yeah. wondering, like you know, truthfully, since we have you on the phone, just what what the difference is between the dicks? I bet I bet I could guess her number off the top of my head. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Yeah. How many people do you think that she's been with? Sixteen. What did you guys? I bet Matt. Matt's about to to uh, guess your number. Oh God! Sixteen. Oh, 16. No, no that, wait, thirty-eight. That oh That's God. Fine. That oh God. Thirty-eight. No, I'm going way higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're in the seventies. That's professional. Oh level. hell no. W- yeah. Where are you? Where? What, what's your number? At? If you don't mind what, telling us. Yeah. What are we looking at? Uh, you know, um, probably. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it's probably about 30. 30. Oh, yeah. Jared, Jared with the win. Hey, that's not bad at Circle all. Circle gets a square. Look at that. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's amazing. Out of those 30, how many how many of those guys came first? <laughs> what? I, look, I'm just asking where, where they were like, oh my, oh my God, I'm, th- I'm sorry, I, I came. I came. That, honestly, I would t- 17, 18? Uh, most of them. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. That's I, why I'm single. Wow. <laughs> we, hey, we had a guy, we had a gentleman caller right before you who likes to do the Bohemian snap. Have you ever uh, heard of that? I I can only hear Jared clearly, so. Wow. Oh, okay, here, let me move. Must be the headset. Ma- yeah, it must, <laughs> it must be the, be the headset. fucking headset that he wears every goddamn All right, how about this? second of the day. Do you have a question for us before we uh, we, we let you off the phone here? Um. Oh gosh. See now, I now you're really catching. Me All off right, guard. fine. Um, I know it's fine. I'll answer it. It's eight flaccid, nine and a half hard. God damn it! I didn't want to talk about that today. <laughs> didn't want to, but you made me. You fucking made me. Oh god. No. Um. I just. Well, you guys are awesome. You guys uh, pulled me out of a really crappy situation that I was in last year, and kind of, you know got me out of that really bad dark place and you know things have been going up but you know you guys played a huge role in that and i just wanted to thank you for it <laughs> hey we love you and we appreciate you listening yeah, uh awesome. for for all of these episodes and uh look we're, we're looking forward to meeting you sometime in person again that's matt best official on instagram <laughs> um and he does screen all nudes a lot of people think oh matt's got an assistant he doesn't screen his own nudes he actually does he's he a does. hands-on guy he does he does very hands-on guy uh well hey th- thanks for thanks for yeah. letting us we call you, you tonight you. we love you and right, uh love you guys. and and allah bless bye um, oh wait uh, <laughs> bye did i say allah bless <laughs> I don't know. That was a little Sorry. weird. I get it fixed. I get it mixed up with yeah. God. <laughs> weird. Uh, who else? Who else Jesus do we got? Was Christ. there anybody? Was there anybody that wrote in said, "Man, I got re- something real." We yeah, see, yeah. This one. Dude. We need to see a photo. How do we find a photo? Of God, Bert, no, you were so. Bert, you need to see photos of these person. people. Like, I'm can't. not. I'm like Stevie Wonder when I hear uh, sexual fantasies. I, I like to I picture see. it on my own. I'm very superstitious. A lot of people say. Riding on the wall. We got another female. I hate that. I hate that. Ring back tones are so like what five they years ago. What ring, they? ring back tones. I didn't know that. Doesn't it say something about somebody's personality that they have this though? Like what song is this? You know it. I don't know. I don't know. That's shocking that you don't know. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Who am I talking to? You're on Drinking Bros. You're on Drinking Bros what podcast. Up? Are you taking a nap? Uh, no, but that, my child is. That that was oh. Bert from TV that just asked. That you was that. Bert from TV that just asked. Yeah, that. he your, wanted to know if you your were child sleeping. is taking a nap. Where where are you? I'm in Colorado Springs. Where are you? Whoa, Whoa. that was sexy. <laughs> we're we're in Salt Lake City, but uh, he's taking a nap. It's at, at, uh, at eight o'clock at night, or is he sleeping for the night? Oh, well, I mean, taking a nap would be lovely if, since I have a three-week-old in my lap right Whoa. now. But... Oh, Whoa! Geez. Three wow. weeks. Three-week-old. So, so, so here's, you know, I, obviously you, you read what we're doing tonight. Uh, what, is yep. your cr- what is your craziest sexual fantasy? Abduction slash rape. 
Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Nice. My goodness. Promote ahead of Pierce. Yes. yes. Uh, so has this ever, this hasn't happened before? Has this happened to you? Uh, unfortunately, no. I keep trying to get my husband to agree to it, but we no. have to warm up to it. How long have you guys been married for? Fucking let's see, May, June, July, August, five months. Oh, nice. five five months. Uh, enough that you're counting on fingers. Um, Wait, is that like <laughs> is that like a rape fantasy with him or a complete stranger? Uh, definitely my husband. We have oh. a sharing oh, issue, nice. so yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, oh, so so you guys have a sharing issue on his end or your end? Both. Ah, okay. So it's mutual. It's yeah. mutual. Solid. Yeah, I, I like that. And and so in, in this scenario, in this rape slash abduction, do you want him to like steal you, throw you in a van, take you to Motel Six, and, and, and fuck be you? disguised? Yeah. Like, like does like, he does he wear a ski mask? Uh, well, I mean, if he really wants to wear a ski mask, I'm hot and itchy and uncomfortable. But like, yeah. it has to be like the whole setup and the whole shebang and everything. I mean, like. At a club or like in the park or fucking just walking on the sidewalk. Oh, nice. nice. I like so out 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 in a public place where it's like, yeah. hey, you're so, doing it. You're doing a three k. I have a really because I've met a few people with those types of fantasies. I have, I have a re- legit question for you. If it's a comp- okay. if it, if you weren't married and it was a complete stranger and that was actually happening, is that erotic to you or is it not because you don't know question. the control? Yeah, that's a, good that's a great question. Uh. To- Totes not erotic because I don't yeah. know the person and like yeah. there's no safe words or anything. Okay, so it's like the submissiveness of the environment that's I, the eroticism. I thought everybody's safe word was Okinawa. Is that not true? Um, no. Mine's okay. Hiroshima, but that's oh, yeah, totally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend whose safe word was peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> we hear your husband. Tell your husband we say hello. Yes. Oh, Jank and Bros podcast says hello, honey. <laughs> whiskey no begging Wh- wait who's begging whiskey the dog oh the dog's name is whiskey <laughs> yeah um and, and here's yeah, what i love neighbor. you've got a, a three month old in your lap currently three week three, three week weeks, old yeah. um and uh you're talking about a rape and an abduction fantasy uh true drinking bro True yeah. drinking bro out. Solid drinking bro out. Drinking right bro there. out right there. <laughs> you win you win this one. We we appreciate yes. all yeah, you yeah, you definitely win this one. Um <laughs> oh boy. Uh well look, here's the thing. If you if you end up breaking up with the hubs, it doesn't work out. Uh find Matt Best. <laughs> no. And, uh, <laughs> no. Because there's a there's a target, uh, there's a well, target's parking Maddie, lot. I'm flattered, but you're not really my type. That, oh, hey, oh shit. Hey, that, who wait, on wait, the show hey, is your type? Muscular and handsome obviously isn't her type. No. That was not me. That was Ross talking. I was not putting myself out there. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Okay. That, that that's Matt's voice. Um <laughs> so so let me ask you then, out out of the group, out of all the drinking bros, who who is who is your guy in this? Who's your who's your dog in this fight? Uh, Rocco. If if there's a rape fantasy, that's Rocco. That's what I'm talking about. I fucking called that shit. (laughs) And I didn't even see you. God damn. Uh, Well, look, I hope we didn't wake up the baby. This was fun. We appreciate you listening to the show, and and you, you you're on the 200th episode. So, uh, <laughs> congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, thank you for everything. Weird. There's a gift yep. sock uh, that's going to be given out. Just one, a singular well, sock. Not that Rocco remembers, but uh, he did yank on my hair at Freedom On Fest. Oh, Ooh. oh, uh, fr- wait, uh, uh, boy! There, <laughs> half of me wants to know this story. The other half is the like we're so live on saying, air. So what you're saying is you've met all of us <laughs> uh i met maddie and rocco oh, oh nice and i like the maddie. maddie is, is that yeah, like my maddie. Maddie. yeah i like that uh, i like maddie i'm sorry i'm not your type you know so oh. so when he pulled your hair did you ask him to pull your hair no i had it braided and that's why uh, of course because oh. every, everybody just walks around yanking braided well, and were you hair. guys in a bathroom when this happened <laughs> yeah uh, no we were definitely out in the bar area okay 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 Okay, great, great. Um, well, look uh, to to your three week old. I want to say nurse hard, and uh, thank you for being on the show. We love you, and thank, thank you. you for being a listener. So have a good night. Totes McGroats. Bye. Big fan. <laughs>
Uh, since since we're since we're going this route, fucking called Rocco. I knew that. I one. knew it. Yeah, you knew it. You, you're a messiah. Nailed I mean, it. if I had a rape fantasy, it would be Rocco, right? Because so like my, none of you guys are gonna manhandle me like that, dude. Oh. No. And my my college roommate, uh, his girlfriend had a rape fantasy, and yeah. you used to consistently talk about it all the time. Of like, I want to be raped, and I wanted to be a surprise or whatever. So my buddy was just like, God damn it, man. I, you know, I, like I saw him getting ready for the night, and I was like, What are you doing tonight? You want to come to the bars with us? And he goes. No, I gotta go fucking rape my girlfriend. <laughs> and I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? And he goes, Yeah, yeah, she's got the rape, rape fantasy. And he told me about it. And so we go out drinking. I totally forget about it. And I'm, I come home two, two thirty in the morning, walking up the driveway, and I see a guy walking down the driveway with a full ski mask on, full fucking ski mask on. And I was like, Oh shit! Like I stopped and I was like, Yo, you just walked out of my fucking house. And he goes, Yeah, I know I did, Ross. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? And he goes, oh, remember tonight's the rape fantasy. Pulled up the thing <laughs> or whatever. Like and I was super like, cash. Super cash. Oh, we're going to go cuddle. I gotta, I gotta be, I'll be back in 15 after the rape fucking. <laughs> yeah, so I just got to finish this rape fantasy thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so he was walking over to her house. And uh, w- what the whole thing was, was uh, uh, she left the sliding glass door open. And they had like a time. So it was between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. She was going to leave the sliding glass door open. He, you know, she goes to sleep at like 11, 12. He's going to walk in and rape her and then just leave, but he's got to slam the door behind um, him. And that was interesting. That was part of the whole thing. So the next morning at breakfast, I, I saw him at breakfast and I was like, uh, hey, man. I mean, literally, it, just like we're on Drinking Bros. I was like, hey, man, how was your rape last night? And he goes, ah, you know, I kind of got into it. Like, I kind of dug it. Like, and I knew what was going on. And he, and he goes, uh, problem was, she was way too into it. And I was like, oh. Do you think she's that's, been that's a raped hard psycho, psychological component because yes. that's why I asked that yep. that young lady about Absolutely. that because you're like, is that a random person? Because in my mind, if you're dating someone like that, you're like, do they just like if some random stranger in a park fucking grabs them and throws them down, they're into it? Like this is yeah. hot. Like yeah. I don't, I, I don't judge takes, anybody. I, I just don't want to be with that person from no. the no, no. from the assailant though. Like I think that would ruin it for him. <laughs> the assailant. Well, whoever the, the like raper is, you know, like if a guy was really going after a rape and the girl was like, "Fucking, why don't you fuck me like a man?" Like now he's like, "Oh God." Who's the raper now? Well, dog? it depends yeah. if you just wanted yeah. sex yeah. or you know. Yeah, I, I had a girl that wanted me to put my loaded Glock in her vagina one time, and I was Whoa, like, no. she's like, she was like, Way. yeah, yeah. Like that. she was like, safety on or off." Is, you, no, there's no Dude. safety. It's there's three internal safeties. In the I Glock. remember yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, but like, yeah. that was a she, weird one. She was just like, but don't, I don't want you to shoot me because, like, I don't want to die, but I want it to be loaded and you to fuck me with it. And that's, so I was like, I'm good. Like, I don't need those screenshots of my text saying Boy. I'm into it. So, like, uh, yeah. we're just going to move on. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a big I've been ask. Moving on. Yeah. I'm that's good. a big ask. Are we ready for Amber? Abs- oh. Hey, wait, wait, stop first. I got to see these people. God, like, Bert. No. Bert. No. Why an do Instagram, you have to, you don't have to Everybody's see these got people. an Instagram account. Yeah, but Amber is your energy yeah. by 311. To, for, for us to go through the whole backstory of their life, like, I don't want their the family story, tree. Just, I want to see the Instagram. Let's go we to let's go to Instagram. let's go to familytree.com. Ah, just find out their, their yeah, we'll send them a swab quick ancestry. We'll get, we'll get their ancestry. <laughs> you know, we'll swab them up. Evan, can you talk less in this episode? You're killing me, dude. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Are you fucked up, Evan? Did you get fucked up today? He's no. got he's got you know manhandled issues to do. Yeah, he's no. got a hand. It's the thing. worst. Big Why boss shit. Company is the worst. It's the fucking worst. Man, there's a lot of rings for Amber. I think Amber got what nervous. A douche. I think Amber got nervous. Hey guys, this is Amber. I'm not here right now, so leave me a message. We will leave her a message. Leave her a message. Get over here. At the yeah. tone, please record your message. Get when you there, finished Ross. recording, yeah. you may hang yeah. up or Just press own one her for more ass. options. Hey, Amber, this is Ross Patterson for Drinking Bros Podcast. We were just calling to ask you about your, your favorite sexual fantasy that you wish you never had. Um, you know, you didn't answer the phone, so I'm probably just going to go. Oh, oh, she's going she's she's back. back. She's going yeah. back. Amber. A- Amber. Hello. Hi. Hi, who is this? This is Drinking Bros Podcast. Let me ask you, what oh, is the hi. what is the color of your energy right now? My what? What's the color of your energy right now? Naturally, it's going to be amber, duh. Yeah, oh. there it is. There it is. Um, are you are you a long time listener? First time caller? <laughs> um, not first time listener, first time caller, yes. Okay, wow. great. She's great. never listened. No, she's never so listened. So that means we could do whatever we want. She'll never hear it. Absolutely. So what what is your weirdest <laughs> sexual fantasy? Ooh. 
Um, so I, okay, so I played this game last night called Exploding Kittens. <laughs> what? Um, and <laughs> basically, it's like a card game, and what you want to do is like not get the Exploding Kitten card because it's like a bomb and it starts out of the game. Long story short, yeah, it's a fun game. But there's a card on there where it's like Alter the Future, and on the card it says something about you go back in time and get a pregnant dinosaur. So naturally, on a fucking dinosaur. Oh wait, uh, wait, so, wait! Uh, you want to fuck a dinosaur or uh, fuck on a dinosaur? Yeah, that was my question. Can it be both? What? Whoa. Whoa. Holy Whoa. shit! God, just like a gang bang. This of just went to the top. Wow! This just went to the just top. Like a, just like a small pterodactyl, like not you know not T Rex. <laughs> She's like specific about arm, the species. So. I like that a lot. You just, just you want it to fly with you. You like right? Take you oh on like a God. Superman. Oh, that's Doing a, you know, like a magic carpet ride. In It'll flight doggy style. Oh, oh my god boy that is a nice <laughs> but, thing but then there was this one shirt that i saw and i was like oh t-rex can't pull hair so obviously not a t-rex oh, oh boy you know? see so you, you're this very specific great. about it let me ask you this um <laughs> are you into japanese anime at all <laughs> no no what, what what about like no. uh like board game like a dungeons and dragons anything like that no. Okay, great. You're just a hometown girl that wants to fuck a dinosaur. Exactly. So, okay, wait, so wait, wait, wait. how do you, how does one get into dinosaurs is my question. Like, was your dad a paleontologist? Like, how do you how do you make that switch where you're like, man. I mean, I, if it looks like Ross from Friends, then maybe, yeah. David Schwimmer? David Ew. Schwimmer. No. Come on. You are do, swim do, dog. Do you know, that's all, that's all him from right Madagascar. there. Just, oh, okay. So okay. I have a question for you. So you said the pterodactyl to fuck you. What what would you want to fuck on? Because a T Rex would be dope to fuck on. It would be hard no, because no, it no, stands no, no. I didn't weird. say it. Not by the pterodactyl on the pterodactyl. Like it's a Aladdin's uh, magic carpet ride, but oh, on a pterodactyl. Oh, so the pterodactyl. Like an eight foot wingspan. It'll be fun. We thought the pterodactyl was fucking you. Yeah, fucking yeah. on a pterodactyl would be awesome. I mean, I guess. Like, get me drunk enough. I guess. Whatever. Nice, <laughs> nice. You're a Why free not? spirit, and I love. I like yeah. this. I, I like your whole attitude about life. Um, I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Yeah, I have, love your enthusiasm, and that's 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 the one thing you need when you're having sex um, is enthusiasm. Uh, you don't have to be great at it, and just be enthusiastic. That's another one. Yeah, you have to be awake. Jared's favorite line during sex is, uh, "If if you like it, pretend like you're sleeping." Um, so that's his favorite. That's his go-to. Um, what's your what's your what's your number? What's your over over under number? I'm going to say 18 over under. 62. I'm going to say 12. 62. Okay. What do you? What, how many people have you slept with? Um, whoever said twelve was on the money. Oh, oh shit! Is that Jared again? So, Jared, God, Jared. God, damn, Jared. damn it! He's this fucking sex whisperer. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Does, do dinosaurs count though? The dino. You know what? I'm saving that. I'm saving that for marriage. You know, a dinosaur. Mm, top notch. Okay. Okay. I'm, she isn't, I'm she isn't like rolling we, down to the Smithsonian and just fucking. I, I feel on. like your type, you out of all the podcast members, would be Jared Taylor, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. I win one. Boy. There yes. you go. Boy. Strong. There you you go. win a lot. Is so that like, is that because I'm funny and I provide food? <laughs> I mean, it's your it's your personality. You know, it's not always the looks. It's personality. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most <laughs> passive aggressive comment ever. It's not always about looks. It's just, yeah. I mean, that's how women operate. Passive aggression is our number one in milk. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was a, that so. was a backhanded compliment down the line for the win. <laughs> <Yeah. Wimbledon. laughs> Uh, I mean, I can't supply the dinosaur. I mean, if you had a rape fantasy, I could probably make that happen. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm strong, but oh, yeah. the dinosaur thing, no. Yeah. Um, uh, well, look, Amber, we appreciate you being on the show. Uh, we appreciate that the dino sex is, is not a popular thing. So we appreciate you, <laughs> right. you sharing that with, with all of us. Prehistoric sexual fantasies. That's fine. I know. From Jurassic it's, era. It's, 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 look, I, I, this is fucking amazing. I I like, is, is it a like, thing? Like, is it a thing really that we don't just, know about? Did we really just call some money and they have a prehistoric sexual fantasy? Oh, boy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You know it. what? Drink of Rose is a place for everybody. You gotta. That's I guess the goddamn right. Yeah, right. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Amber, right. Amber, right. Amber, you are the color of my energy right now. Yes. Yes. Seriously, you are. <laughs> You're gonna be our mascot. Drink of Bros mascot. Big fan. If you can't Amber. fuck a dinosaur. Fine. Who can you fuck? Yeah. 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 Are you are you single right now? Are you you single married? Uh, you, you you got a guy. I'm single. Oh, uh, you are single. Uh, look, yeah. if you want to, if you want to throw out your Instagram name to yes, people, please. just throw um, it out right and, now. And hey, look, there there could be some um, other people out there who want to have dinosaur sex as well. <laughs> um, it's Amby Herm, A M B Y H E R M. 
So great, sweet, Amby great. I'm Lucky looking you up you. right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit up okay. Amby. I, no, All we, I have are pictures of dogs and like, like my house. That's really oh, about it. Yeah, see. you're cute. Oh, hell look at yeah. That. Yeah. Are you are you a nurse? What do you do? Um, no, I I actually work at a bank. Not oh. that fun. Well, okay. no, but but here's the thing: having a, a fantasy like that at a bank is awesome. Because I, I sometimes yeah. when I when I deposit, and I look at my tellers. I mean, I'm you, like, yeah, man, you, what are you really thinking about? Dino sex has <laughs> never been one of no. those things on the, on my mind. It if will you, be now. If you think it will spark, hey Ross, yeah, hey, Ross you tell her, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and Amber, Amber, oh, honestly, if you if you yeah. seriously get a date out of this whole thing, we want to know about it. Yeah, and, and I will. It, and if you get a relationship out of it, and if you end up getting Fucking married the dinosaur. because of this, exactly. we're invited. Has there been a marriage that's come up from drinking bros yet? Yes. 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 There's been yes. quite a few. Quite okay. a few. Quite a few, but I um, think okay. this. I think I think you're gonna find your one on this one. I do. I do too. And also, like when you do get married, uh, we're gonna have a screening of the Flintstones, um, just right outside the fucking thing, you know. <laughs> so that way you guys can get oh my married gosh, barefoot. Just play Jurassic Park music in the background. What? Hey, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> da, na, na, na. Dude, fucking yeah, fucking Chris on your wedding night to Jurassic Park theme music on would a pterodactyl. Be oh, <laughs> big fan. Oh my god. <laughs> They do move in hordes. Wait, herds. Oh, herds. Whatever, so great. Whatever. Amber, hey, we love you so much. Thanks for being on the show. And Yeah, uh, have a good night, guys. Let Thank us know you, what Amber. happens with your Instagram. <laughs> bye bye. 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 God, these okay. are some bye. great callers. Whoa, I like wow. that one was solid. Uh, man, that's we solid. can't write this shit. No. From, from, from we didn't vet these for everybody. That's dude, not like we didn't I have a guy that just gave us his phone number and said yeah, episode one changed my life. Oh yeah, dude! Wow, pegging, shall we? Yes, yeah. We shall. Because by by the way, for the audience at home, in case you haven't listened to all of them, it was pegging explained, and uh, that was the first that was the first episode. If he gets pegged, if this motherfucker gets pegged when we call him, I I I might throw off the headset and wear yours, Jared. I might wear the airplane headset. You just might. I may be wrong. I may be right. Uh, I may be wrong. Hello? Tyler. Yeah. We want to know why episode one changed your life. Yeah, this is the Drinking Bros podcast. Well, you know, sometimes you get all fucked up on painkillers after surgery. And I hear you. Playing with the wife's <laughs> old uh, vibe. Maybe she wants to try it somewhere else. You know, I heard about a podcast. That sounds fun. So, 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 okay. So, so try that out. Yeah. So, so, so did this go down? Did you get pegged by your wife? A couple times. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes. yes. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Was it a full pegging or was it her jamming a dildo or was she like strap on owning that booty? Hey, no. Hey, no. Oh, it started with the vibrator and then it turned to the, uh, to the full strap on. And, and Dude, oh, that nice. is fucking yeah. dope. How, how big was it? Let me ask you that. <laughs> like, small, small. Uh, like, so, so yeah, uh, yeah. are we talking under six inches? Shit. I don't want it to come did, out like a pancake. So did you did you have a prostate? Yeah, cup? did you did you achieve prostate orgasm? Uh, I don't know, I'm jerking off, man. I didn't. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a hard thing because it's you know there's no way it's fuck it's kind of gay man there's no way around that I don't know if it's kind of is it kind of yeah. your no, wife yeah. like we're not going to judge you on that there's it's your a wife, female no. putting things inside you I don't think that's, that's gay that's like saying you're no. kissing a girl yeah, it's gay because you, know, you you can kiss a guy it's a completely different thing and uh, we don't give a sh- we don't give a shit at all line. I want to find the line of what. Is that gay? I don't know. I don't I think it is. I'm going to vote not gay. I'm, I'm not going not gay. Hands down, not gay. What do you think, Ross? Perfect. Uh, I'm going to say, are you married? She, she's your wife, right? Pretty close, yeah. Well, look, it's not horseshoes. Uh, she either is your wife or isn't. You know what I'm saying? Pretty close doesn't really fucking count. Um, either you put a ring on it, you didn't. Um, either you're getting your dick sucked by everybody else or not. Uh, because if it is your wife, I will say this. You're looking to spice up shit in the bedroom. Uh, let's say you go to the, the cooking cabinet. You're out of paprika. Throw in a dildo. What? Throw in a dildo. Yeah. No, because so you're, you're trying to spice things up. So what's your up. verdict? So, so my verdict is this. It. It is not gay 
if you're married and you're trying to to really go after shit. If you're single and it's like a first or second date, you're definitely gay and you just can't find the right <laughs> yeah. guy oh, in your yeah. life. No. Yeah. You know? That right. is like a good All thing. Right. It's like you probably yeah. just want penis in there. You're not yeah. spicing the, yeah. the bedroom up. Right, what's yeah. your verdict? Oh, not gay. Come on. Yeah, yeah no, it's, no, not gay. it's not gay. It's not gay. Wow, perfect. Yeah. So that's that's a unanimous friend, decision. I've been trying to keep that one in, but now i got to tell my friend. Yeah. yeah. Fine. yeah. Unanimous fine. decision, not gay. Because yeah. honestly, bro, how many of them are going to try it now that they yeah. hear this? Yeah. And none of them, but we've all had a finger thrown in where it's just yeah. like, all right, cool. We, we partied a little I think too much tonight. I to try it. Yeah. I, not only deserves it, but Donald John Trump is fought for that. I, I have a shirt America that says hashtag nothing wrong with the finger. So like I'm yeah. cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're 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 on your side here on this yeah. one. And and again, I appreciate Do- it. Donald Great John Trump has fought for this. Um, so you can. So <laughs> now what you need to do to spice up the bedroom is to get another girl to wear a strap on, and then she can bang you and your wife, and then you'll just have a party. Oh Ooh. boy, I'm helping you out. Hey. Since it's episode 200, episode one. There you go. There's the there's the next. You're graduating. Boom. I mean, Full if, circle. if you guys put this on the show and then she listens to it, she's it's, gonna know this. We're live. No, it's, live. it's live. It's, 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 it's this live. Is it. This episode is is actually coming out in an hour. So you're on it, and yeah, that's yeah, it. you're Fuck definitely yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you were 100% on the you're show. You're like a strap on. I you're just on got it. this text by somebody that we just called. Oh, that sounds real gay. At the very bottom. about the tagging thing, I was first shout out to you guys. It sounded real gay. No, no, no. No, it's not. Like, uh, you know, if your wife and you're trying some shit out, whatever. Uh, Mike Piazza was not married at the time. He was, da- <laughs> he was dating this girl. Um, I happened to date this girl after him. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm so, I'm so glad you don't like to get pegged. And I was like, huh? What, what, what do you mean? And she was like, oh, my, my ex-boyfriend, Mike Piazza, he likes to get pat. And I was like, fuck. She didn't like that, though? She could have changed your life. No, she didn't like it. Because it was yeah. like, because here's the thing. Like, if she's banging him, and, and again, it's somebody you're casually dating, you're not really getting off in that situation. So it's like, great, what the fuck do I do? You know? Yeah, that is just kind of work. Yeah. Yeah, if I was a chick, I wouldn't want to peg a dude because I'd be like, I don't feel anything. Yeah, like, yeah but you know no. what? I mean, this kind of tells us you should just get a chick that's got your own dick. <laughs> oh, boy, Jared. Uh, there you go. Just upgrade to go. trannies. Yeah, just go upgrade tran- trannies. <laughs> trannies. That's the next. There you go. <laughs> trannies, dude. That's it. That's gay. Yeah, if that she had her. No, if she has no. her own, I mean, you're if she good. Has, if, if she it, has fake tits, it's not gay. That you took the words out yeah. of my mouth. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, if she got fake tits, that, that's a full transition. That that's not gay. Yeah. That no, is 2017 I heard the best. Science. There's no such thing as fake tits. Because if there are drawn tits. On a piece of paper, and you try and touch them, you can't. But right. if you can touch, touch them, them, they're real. They're real tits. Those are real. Yes, I wow. like that, Jared. You know me. I'm that's, a fan of the fake tits. That, that means if fuck. you're into pegging, just get a girl that's got a fucking healthy dick. That was <laughs> that was really existential. You got really existential on this. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, the, uh, you're the psychology of fucking. Uh, you know, fucking. I think globally, but I act locally. If you're fucking grabbing tits, and they're not grabbing real tits. All um, right, brother. Well, thank you for for omitting that on the the show. Yeah, we, we love we, you. You're the panel of judges is determined not gay. We love you. Thank you for supporting the the show and uh, fucking a man. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Thanks. Uh, Thanks, guys. Bye, buddy. Boy, I. You know what? You know what's funny? Like when we when we called that. Yeah. Um. I I th- I thought for sure he was just gonna be like, oh man, I've listened to the first episode and whatever. I didn't nah, think he was yeah. actually getting pegged. Um, because that's a big thing to admit live. That on is a yeah, that, that, that is that is, that is solid. A, that's a huge thing to admit. That is solid. That, like, hey, you solid. like to get pegged. Um, I, I we'll see where this one goes. Su- Who's surprised? Oh, uh, I think this guy wants to fuck his brother. No, in a tornado. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're, this guy. you're kidding, right? Probably. No, I think this guy wants to yeah. fuck his brother. No. This guy or girl? This is no it's a guy. Fucking awkward. No. Who is this? It's gonna be it, awkward. It's Jared's brother. Is it really? Yeah. Is it really your brother? brother? Yeah, he keeps fucking commenting. Call me. We're calling him now, and he doesn't fucking answer your fucking guy. brother. Jesus yeah. I would forgive him if he said I wanted to have sex with my mom because Jared's mom's fucking hot. She's hot, and she, she is, is, she is hot. super nice, she is super hot. kind, yep. the sweetheart. We're just gonna and be she's super annoyed. I would, I would, eat, I would eat your mom's afterwards. holes. This, what? What? Is you can't true? say that. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, I've heard it my whole life. So What's her Instagram? Yeah, my mom. She's yeah. awesome. I think it's Moni in Italy. What? I'm Moni not sure. Italy. What? You're sending me to some. Wait, your mom has an Instagram? This is a trap. Yeah. Boy. This is a trap. That's amazing. Here, no, I'm going to call his wife. Does she post, like, does she do selfies? Wait, is this Aaron? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is brother that sings music and all yeah. that shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Moni in Italy. I can't find no. this. I, I have to look up what her. Yeah. What her uh, Instagram is because I don't. It, it's a bunch of fucking weird letters and numbers and shit. I have no clue. Yeah. Wait, your mom's? Your mom's yeah. Instagram? Yeah. Hmm. I don't. I don't remember what it is. I know she has one. Possibly. Just go to her Facebook. We should call Ross, my ex. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, we should. Fucking I, I, your fucking brother doesn't answer the goddamn phone. Well, from I his just own brother? I called his wife. She didn't answer. God, that would have been your funny goddamn brother. Because yeah, well, like, you're calling from an unknown phone, right? Yeah, they don't yeah. know this. They don't just know text this him number. and tell me. You know it's your brother. Yeah, you can text him. Hey, I'm calling from another phone. Can you pick up your phone? Well, exactly. We'll just be annoying. Well, yeah, how but then the ring. How close are you with your brother? The audience has to listen to the ring the whole time. Yeah, how close are you with your fucking brother? I mean, I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, he's not going to answer the fucking phone. I mean, okay, I feed him man. lettuce. Yeah, like, yeah. I give him fucking... lettuce once in a while. All right, I'll text him. Real Brother, what does this mean? Yeah. What, do, what, what does this mean? Here? <laughs> Say what to Nejo. What does Jared's it mean? Jared's got some good stock, man. And what's it like? Portuguese and Italian. What else? What else you guys got in there? Uh, Portuguese and Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's and got good Swedish. stock in him, man. So what the fuck, bro? I mean, Have him answer the goddamn phone. Yeah. I'm loving. I'm loving that fucking shirt, Bert. That that color scheme is great. Are these on the site yet? They are. This is the best black rifle all day, every day. I. They are on the site. That's how. Hey, that's how teamwork makes the dream work. Great. I love Bert. I love Bert. When you say we got blue and red shirts, black rifle needs to do them, and then we toss them on there. That was Evan all day. That was months ago. We yeah, dropped you know, the ball. I mean, I, I put that design on there. I'm, I'm going to steal that gonna, one. Uh, and I put the flag on there. I have to pee real quick. So you I guys talk about something funny. funny. Choice. Yeah. Talk yeah. about something funny. Okay. I have to pee. I will. <laughs> really bad. So the, the shirt, for those out there go, in, go ahead, uh, go ahead and in, in you podcast call your brother? land, the uh, shirt I'm wearing is... is the first. Is, this is the first shirt you guys ever done in a in the color kind of a tea. bright color. Yep. yep. Oh, this black just, rifle coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, a just huge fan of this. Simple, is this out now? Yeah. yeah bright is. red shirt, and then there's a royal blue, and they're tri blend. Next, I mean, it badass shirt. Comfy, What's, what do they put soft. in the back? Is it the AR in the back? I forget yeah, what they print. Yeah, it's the yoke, the AR yoke, but it just says yeah. Black Rifle Coffee on the front. Yes. I've, I've been, oh, I've been wearing it that. all weekend, and everywhere I go up by our house in the mountains, people are like, man, that shirt's I awesome. I love that shirt. You, I you, eat some you know what's weird? Coffee. I've gotten to a place now because we've, we've been, you know, we've all been friends for so long. If I'm not wearing one of your shirts, then I feel bad that I'm just wearing somebody else's like shitty t shirt out. I actually enjoy I've been on like a kick lately to wear like Jurassic Park Street Fighter shirts, something that's super OG, but I will never wear another company's shirt. Yeah, it's I, weird to I, me. I, I and I and I agree with that. And I get mad to be honest, because like I Peacemaker makes so much dope shit. I always find myself wearing Peacemaker and I'm like but I don't even. I'm not even a part of that. But I like. Yeah, it. I know. Whatever. I know. But you've you got, are. I, you've got the dopest. I wear. Shirt. Uh, I wear I? Donnie <sighs> Vincent shirts and Stan Donnie? and Stanley Idaho shirts. Those are the only two other shirts I wear. Donnie Stan, Vincent shirts. Stanley are great. Idaho. It's you a know what? shirt. Well, just says I can, the fucking admit, town name. Evan has another brand. I won't even say it unless he wants to on there. Yeah, Mountain Born. Mountain Born. It is the coolest. It's like Patagonia on steroids, and I'm like. Please, we're just too busy to fucking run with it. I'm a huge. We'll just, we'll just put this shirt on the side. I'm a huge Patagonia yeah. and, and North Face like and Patagonia and with Mountain, credibility. Mountain Hardware fan. <laughs> yeah, but. I like Patagonia as well. But I, I get a, I get a huge question for you, Evan, because we. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. Um, we the the episode where you talked about moving and not wanting to be in in uh in, right. in Utah anymore. Um, a lot of people have written in and given suggestions of where they want you guys to live. Yeah. I'm surprised Idaho isn't one of them for you. I saw I saw you on a recent trip to Idaho. You had the that was the happiest I've seen you. In He's a born long and raised time. in Idaho, man. That's his fucking I did not gem. That's that. home, man. That's is home. it really? Yeah, I, it is gorgeous there. Uh, Luke Webster uh, yeah. from StraightRazors.com is there, and like the people who live there are like, bro, you don't know how beautiful this this land is. Like this is as good as it gets in the United Evan, States. Is Evan, one hundred percent, will retire there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think for us, like, the, the company is more about the community that supports the company than us. So when we talked about it, talked about moving, uh, of course, I wanted Idaho because that's where I'm from. However, it's more about I the didn't community know that. decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about the community. So. It looks, every photo there of everybody who lives in Idaho, it's like the most pristine, gorgeous photo where you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's where they take all the stock photos. It is. That's where they take all the stock photos. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous well, it's, there. It's God's country. And the way that I look at, like, if you look at how the United States has gone, all the beautiful places people want to go, which is like where 
and ine- inevitably like progressive fucking shit happens like california like one of the most greatest states ever but it's just a shitty government and shitty people right not everybody don't fucking i'm born no, and raised no. there but I'm, I'm just saying in general like it, it the, the government turns liberal where like boise is still one of those states or idaho and boise we're, we're looking at moving it's like dope because it's god's country man it's so fucking beautiful it looks gorgeous and then they're still like kind of pro gun which is like in our culture you know which is i can't move to a state that's not pro gun i mean jesus like that's my whole life that's the only thing i do for fun I just want to move to a state, man, where guys want an honest, honest day's fucking work for yeah. honest day's pay, uh, where they're not going to fucking impede on on uh, any amendment of the Constitution and where, you know, we can go to a bar and have a drink with a bunch of fucking great people. And I'll tell you, man, that's where we're headed. Yeah. So wherever yeah. we go, it will be a con- it will be a portion of the country that absolutely supports the brand. And, and what, what's uh, for, for the, for the audience yeah. at home, when is that move possible? Next by the year. Way? Beginning next year. Of next it year. is. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. I'm excited. Well, so let me, let me rewind this real quick for a second. Cause Evan doesn't talk. Evan's about as humble as it gets. So I went to Idaho with Evan and I've been watching this new brand. They just mentioned mountain born kind of develop that Evan's had in his head. I'm guessing for 15, 20 years, quite a while. Yeah. So, a lot of companies out there, it's it's like the Black Rifle coffee stuff, and I won't get into the, you know, there's a lot of companies out there copying what Black Rifle does, but they don't roast their own coffee. They're not coffee connoisseurs. They haven't been doing they this long as They, they, they never, never started coffees. They never started coffee. Yeah. And I'm, you know, Peacemaker sells coffee, but we're very, again, we put it, our coffee is roasted by Evan. We are not coffee roasters. But where I'm going right. with Mountain Born stuff is, is Evan's one of those guys that will paddle class five in a kayak. He'll, he'll run a raft in, in class five water, hunt, fish, hike. So and he fucking owns a goddamn I don't think, outdoor fucking. And again, I've been yeah, buying I've been buying yeah. Patagonia and North Face stuff since since the, since the early nineties. Yeah. I'm I'm telling you, I have not been as excited, even more so than the own brand the brand that I own. I have not been more excited about a brand that's coming out than Mountain Boy. No shit. And when is that coming out? It is it's still yeah, developing. I mean, it's still developing. Like, so I've I've spent he's a lot gone of time on it. Hundreds of iterations. Wow. Yeah. Like for the last fifteen months. We should have like an episode where it's like, called Suck Evan's Dick. Evan <laughs> Yeah, and again, I, I am no, 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 doing, no, no, I am doing I'm it right serious, now, like, but it is super no, again, I'm, like, I'm actually being serious. Like Evan, like for people out there, because like it, it's a bizarre concept and we'll, and we'll go down this rabbit hole a little bit. Like I've been on social media for like five years. I get my eat lunch fucking eaten before out there, but I, I'm a personality, I get it, but like when people come after Evan. I've never met someone so ethically on point with with my values and then the hardest working dude I know. Like I can't, I've never found someone not, not even in this room and you guys are some of the hardest working people I've ever met in my life than Evan. I'm like holy fucking shit. And people like I think need to realize that like where Black Rifles come and where it's going, it's like it's so much more than just a coffee company. It's like a dude and and a culture that he's created here with all of us. It's like we're going to change the fucking game and we're going to inspire and create and it's fucking awesome. And like I, I text this dude at two in the morning about it, like figuring he'll text me in the back and he's like, hey, dude, that's Roger. And then he'll send me back what he's working on. I'm like, how the fuck are you awake right now, you fucking crazy bastard? I'll go hour Non-stop. for hour with you. And like, I'm not saying that because my proximity to you and that you're like the CEO of Black Rifle, it's like my business partner and like, I've had so many failed ventures in my life and I've you know worked with people that not always lined up when I met Evan I was like holy shit this is a dude that I know I can go be like my crazy creative self and when shit comes back and which is kind of not even it's not justice to you because you're equally as creative as me but you are way more talented in like organizational and structure which I'm fucking terrible I'm a horrible CEO I played that fucking role I'm terrible but I'm a great which fucking you need that in a business brain. yeah yeah and it's like it's super cool and like when people come out there and like kind of slander us I'm like it doesn't bother me at all because i know the fucking shit we're doing and and no one can hold a fucking torch to like our ethics and like i will own that statement till i fucking die because i know what the fuck we're doing i see everything that happens in this company i see everything that we're supporting i'm like eat my fucking dick and and evans is the huge part about that so there's there's your fucking hand, two hand cents well, thank and, you and, and can i get a raise yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if, and if, by the way if anyone out there is interested in eating matt's dick go to at matt best official on instagram <laughs> yes and then and, and, uh, and then noel jt and she will fucking cut you with a knife i so. would not i would not mess i would not want to see noel pissed off she is I got oh, a, she's funny, savage, no, no, no. i've I i've seen her pissed off I, I, I wasn't even I've, fucking with her like yes ma'am what time yeah do I that's need to be it that's exactly what time it. do i need to be there nah, she's yes. fucking awesome. I've, yes, ma'am. I've seen her get fired up once awesome. and i'm like yeah that's not yet I don't hey, give, me, give me give me a second no. yeah um, fire, we're still finding a good one i fire away 
fire I, away. I think, I well, think just keep I going. Think people I'm really, like, yeah. like, we're talking about Noel, which she's awesome. Like, uh, hands down, she's Thanks fucking, too. she's rad. So Matt's wife, and, by the way. Yeah, for, yeah, For Matt's the audience wife, at home who doesn't know. She's fucking awesome, yeah. dude. Like, she's, she comes in, she fucking busts out. Long days at work. I think Bert Kuntz's wife actually needs a pat on the back, too. Yes, if we're talking about Anderson. fucking yeah. badass wives. I made a joke a few weeks ago, which I've actually kind of felt bad about. I actually told my wife about it this morning. I was like, man, I, I made this joke. I called Candace my work wife. Yeah. And uh, Bert, Bert got pissed off at me. I did not. <laughs> it's true, man. <laughs> like Candace it's... comes in, man. She is like one of the only people in this fucking building that will like give me both barrels. Like she'll shut the door and be like, this is, these are the fucking 10 things you need. I'm not leaving here until you get them done. Like concentrate get this fucking done and uh god bless the kuntzes that's all i can say dude a they perfect example amazing we, people we talked about this at so we're at we're at a pool in um dallas fort worth or fort worth area yeah we, we snuck away for about two hours when we just arrived for the convention at Actors it was so Ford. fun I and like then the pool. so we're all we're all chilling there hanging out and everything and candace is on her fucking she, she brought her computer to she's, the fucking pool you mean she and she's working she and, doesn't and, stop and then this blonde chick comes up with a fucking extra shot of whiskey and she's like y'all tell me a favorite joke and i was like i i kind of tried to be funny with this chick and she's like, how this about you? So you look good. funny. And Candace is typing goes, I don't fucking care. And then, <laughs> and then the girl goes, I'm sorry. What'd you say? She's like, I really couldn't give a fuck right now. So thank you. And then goes back to working. She's like, and the girl, I mean, the lady didn't trying to be know nice, what like, to do. She didn't like, know what wow. to do. But it was no. just like, she was like, I'm in my zone. I don't give a shit about your tequila. Like, and that's what the fucking Kuntzes are awesome with, man. Like. Not stroking everybody's no, dick. No, I, I think it went further than that. She was like, well, I was just trying to make friends. She goes, I have enough friends in my life, and I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> 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 That's my wife. But it's true yeah. at this point. All right. It's true well, at this point in I'll, life. I'll end this segue. Like, that full thing of, like, complimentary of what I'm saying right now for about everybody. It's like, it's the Dream Bros community. And, like, there, there's always the ones and twosies that make things weird. But, like, dude, this is such the coolest thing. And the fact that we have 200 episodes right now is so yeah, fucking, really awesome. Really cool. fucking awesome. It's really cool. And a movie. And, like, we, have a, we have a movie yeah, coming dude, out of Thanksgiving. It's incredible. It's so fucking cool man I'm, I'm just thankful to be a part of it because i don't know where i'd be without it and uh yeah cheers to everybody man and the drinking bros love you guys cheers i'm yeah, gonna steal one of matt's cheers. Uh, drinks i know just fucking get after yeah it. all right fresh so we've got we've got bad. a good one i told you just all give right. me a second hey what is the instagram old, account old kylie she says Ooh. i have been collared most of my times in a relationship collar collar why what does that mean we're, we're about, we're to, about find to find out, out. yeah maybe collared. she was saddled like shot collar you ever been saddled Oh boy! Oh, hey so, so Jared just showed her picture. That's great. This is Kylie. Oh, hey, Hi, Kylie. Kylie. Oh, very professional. This is uh, this is the Drinking Bros podcast. Hi. Hi. How are you? Chipper. Oh fuck! Hi. She's cute. Look at this shit. Yeah, she's she's Promoted actually really hot. Really nice. God. Damn. What's, what's yeah. uh, Kylie? This is Ross Patterson. Um, we're we're doing the 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 weirdest sexual fantasy. What what's yours? And she goes My- red. By the way. One of the two, I guess, is Pega Guy. <laughs> oh, what a segue. I like what that. a segue. I like that. Two would be having my guy get blown by another guy while he eats me out. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, lost the, you lost the room there on that one. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm going I'm to. So is that. Scene. Is you wanting to see your dude get blown by another dude? It's like a way of fucking making a, a threesome happen so you can get DP'd, or you legit want that to happen? I legit want that to happen. Wow. Oh, man. Shit. Ooh, okay. I, look, I, hey, look, I looked at the address. It so said second floor. Matt, I got that's in the, the elevator instant- and it was 12. <laughs> <laughs> like it was the 12th floor. This yeah. this is a big this is one. This a big one. Um, yeah. And I'm going so I'm gonna, to I'm gonna go back here. Um, what, what, what makes you like physically get off about seeing your boyfriend get blown by another dude? I honestly don't know because I've never had it happen. But I... I honestly have no idea. I think it's just really hot because I've had girl on girl, so I guess. So do you watch like that? Do you that watch that porn? Like, do you yeah. watch gay porn, or is yeah. that what kind of influenced that methodology? I watch it all, so I don't oh, well. really have a preference. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Mix, I like you it. mix it up. Like, right. look, everybody dabbles here and there, and that's a nice thing. Um, is there a possibility that this might happen? Are you dating somebody right now? I mean, I would have to be in a relationship or with someone for this to happen. So you're not. Oh, so. not. Because here, here's the thing, and this is why I asked, Kylie. We looked up your pictures, and uh, you, you, were a, you were a little sweetheart. Oh, you were a yeah. cute girl. 
Yeah, I would go out on a limb and call her a smoke hammer, Bert. A smoke oh, hammer. A smoke yeah. Smoke yeah. Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she was uh, a she was a minx. What? Yeah. A, what that's yeah. what I saw. It, I saw a little minx. If so you, did I. If you don't mind uh, saying it, what, what's your what's your Instagram? Do you have an Instagram account? If, if you account? want, this will be if live. It will this be live, live to on all air. Her, so it's uh, totally up to you if you want to. Do I have a preference in men? Is what you're saying? No, no, no. no, no. no. An your Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. If you want to throw your Instagram out it's there, it's Kylie Kenobi. Spell that. Okay. Kylie Kenobi, like no. Kenobi from Star Wars. Oh, spell like Obi Wan. No, Obi Wan. Uh, yes. K Y L I E, and then K E N O B I. So she's looking for a, a. What's your type? Like, do you want like yeah, a dad bod, tattoos, muscular guy what, looks like? Who's Matt? your like, favorite you from the group? <laughs> who's your favorite from the group? That'll that'll tell us what you're looking for. Rocco. Yeah, oh, gosh, God. God. He's a smoke hammer, dude. everybody Why? that wants rough. All these wants women Rocco. are racist, right? Because he's like the no. perfect thing. They it's like, like right, white guys. good looking guy. You know, good with no, they kids. want a fucking great with somebody kids. who looks like a, a criminal, but is also great well, with I kids. I have yeah. two kids. Yeah, so see. it's God. Kind of a given. Uh, there we are. See, see, there I will say, like the internet. My my fucking uncle game is underutilized. I'm a fucking great uncle and fucking. So it doesn't matter. I don't have my own kids. Yeah, but you'd be a horrible stepdad. Me? Yeah. yeah. No, I think what? he'd be good. Jared's, uh, the, he, he'd be a great dad. I think he, no uh, stepdad because they're not his kids. Well, he'd be like, dude. I don't think he'd give him it. four days. He if wouldn't the pussy marry was somebody. good. He'd be like, all right, cool. But after four days, he'd be like, oh, these things are shits. Um. Well, uh, we so we appreciate you <laughs> like being on like that's awesome. So anything else you want to share with us? Not that I know of. Okay, well, okay. well, well hey, Kylie, before I let you We're go. We're looking at your photos right now. Yeah, the yeah there, there's something I, I oh. want to share with you. <laughs> I want to um, see. Uh, there, there is a photo where it appears as if you're breastfeeding, and uh, it says normalized breastfeeding. Um, is, that, mm-hmm. is that something you're, you're into and you're passionate about, you want to speak about? Yeah, I mean, I went 18 months in a week. I just quit last Monday. Sweet. Breastfeeding my daughter. So. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and I wish people would co-parent more. Me and my ex-husband are very civil when it comes down to that stuff. So he kind of understands if I need it to happen. That's great. That's nice. fantastic. Well, Kylie, we appreciate you being on the show, and I hope you find a guy you can peg and have his dick sucked by <laughs> another by, dude. By, yeah. another, you know? by another dude. God bless yeah. you. you by know? another. Well, hey, re- real quick, because this is a fun one, Kylie. We're looking at your photos on, on Instagram. What's the What's the craziest sexual thing you you have gotten into? Um, I had a threesome. With my friend and her husband for her birthday. Oh, uh, shit. Happy I've done birthday. that. Happy birthday. I've done that. Yeah, Jared's done Hold that. on. Yeah. I wanna, that, she is a was, good friend. That like, was three can you imagine dudes that in the Air like, Force. Hey, my, my friend, we, we want a threesome, but someone we can trust and we know is yeah. safe and clean. And, and it's then just it's like, a birthday yeah, thing. Yeah, and a birthday thing. Just like, a hey, we're not going to do this a lot, but here, I'm going to S your husband's D while I eat your pussy. That's a fucking cool friend. You're a good friend. That's a nice birthday. You're a good friend. How old? How old? was that person turning do you remember that birthday party um, 28 she was turning 30 ah oh, there it is so. it's you because and the reason why i ask it's usually a milestone where you're like man i don't feel like i'm doing anything with my life i really need to spice shit up and uh happy 30th uh, let's the, go numbers come the, on the dirty 30 Ooh, i'm two for I'm two right for now 40, okay. 44 so so kylie we, we've been guessing how many people uh that that guests have slept with um, Jared, what, what are you saying? On Kylie? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Okay. Oh, oh, that's God. real low. You're, that's you're real low. I'm, I'm, saying, no I'm saying 22. I'm going to say 28. Uh, Kylie, how many people have you, you, you been with? Nine. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. You're you the fucking vagina, fucking vagina whisperer, JT. Vagina whisperer. Hold on. Hold that's on. Is that, is that like eight I told my boyfriend or is that like a cool eight? You know, because no one ever talks about that. The, the couple weird times. No, nah, it's a hard eight. I, f- I feel I feel I, f- I feel she's legit. Yeah. If she if she like said I she remember said, sleeping dude, with six can, people. But you I mean, can tell you just know. by listening to the way people talk about like, you know, kind of where they're at. I mean, I, I do. I don't. Yeah, yeah. The, the I guess thing. my thing is like my I'm not as off. weird as some of this weird, like the, the fantasy wise, but like I've been promiscuous in my life, yeah. so I just like to. Have bang. you? Yeah, but I don't. I don't <laughs> sense her from every piece of what she says. I don't sense her as sampling dicks all over the place. Like I. Think and it's also because I'm like six foot, so it's hard for me to find someone Ooh, like, that's wow. like. Hey, I don't want to. So wait, wait. What, what's your, what's your cutoff limit for a guy's height? 
five ten oh, is like yeah, the shortest yeah, I've. Yeah, yeah, I tried yeah. to get someone five foot one. seven, and it was very weird. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, easy, no, easy, easy there, Tiger. Three yeah. for three, right here. That, yeah. that sounds like a dude that wants to get the peg, though. That's five seven. Little, Jared, you know. this easy there, Tiger. girl is on fire. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, hey, Kylie, we appreciate you uh, being on the show. We appreciate you listening, and uh, we love you. Mm-hmm. Love y'all too. This is probably the most entertaining thing I've done since I stepped off the plane like three hours ago. Well, hey, well that's hey, only three hours. You're not giving it's us only a three lot hours. Of credit. Uh, you know, you've never dated a guy who's got a, got a, got his dick sucked by another dude. So and, and someday, and someday, someday though. Though. Amazon Prime does not have strap ons. Just so you know, really, I don't fucking know. So you got everything. Take got everything. care, Kylie. Bye, Kylie. Bye. All right. Wow. Oh. She, she, I, I'm going to be honest. This is hands down like one of our greatest episodes of all time. You know what I like about the Drinking Bros? Is there is no inhibition. They just fucking go for it. It's like, dude, what, what no do you want to do? I want to like, peg uh, a dude and I want a dude to suck my boyfriend's dick. Like straight out the gate. That was cool. It's great. What? Do you, uh, what? Really? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> what? Would, you, would you let a guy suck your dick with a girl? Like if that's what she wanted? If that's what she wanted? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Dude, I don't care. <laughs> Come on. I like that. Just I don't care punches. about it. Anything, yeah, you know? fuck it. I mean, if wow. we're getting tacos after, like, yeah, you get your duck sick by a dude. <laughs> your duck sick, yeah, your duck sick. Well, we've had a few drinks now. Uh, <laughs> this, guess what? Like this this wagon's going down hills. Yeah, my, my, I'm more of like a no hair, you can suck the dick thing. So it's like you know, oh shaved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know. uh, you want to feel the, the, the scalp? Right you want to you want to <laughs> feel the scalp? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> or this is like <laughs> Harry Styles. This is going one direction. Yeah. <laughs> Like again, as long well, you as know I'm how just, five gay guys as walk, long right? As, as my oh. like in one direction, my visual <laughs> plane is looking at the female. I don't care what's going on. Sure, yeah, sure. Not so. Look, you would look, be open to the glory hole then, because essentially you could watch whatever you want. No, because now I'm just looking at a piece of wood. No, but like if there's a TV screen of a girl, or yeah, like, oh, that's boring. I'd, I'd rather have you know the. The whole live thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. Well, hey, I'm, I'm gonna pour another drink. Call call somebody. Yeah, can you put some whiskey in there so I like can salvage what, my fucking brain? What, I, what I'm getting from this is that the invite for Ross's stay at the Unicorn uh, Ranch just got a little more interesting. Oh, Baker, you bringing me elk? We have Baker oh, delivering Baker, elk man. for me to eat. Black eat Baker. Black Baker just walked in the room with enough elk meat to feed the. Uh, the uh, oh, it's sausage chickens. too. You're my chickens. man, dude. Why are you giving him this sausage? Check out two poot, you know, kill cliff. I'm wearing your two poot shorts right now, brother. Ping pong. Ross came a little drunk from the airport when he Ubered to my house, and Baker, uh, he had all the all the sausage. Baker leave it has the best fucking elk sausage I've ever had in my life. Yeah, you know, probably because oh, I cooked it. Probably because I. Cooked it. No, it's 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 delicious. Safe, Love you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for the elk meat. We're we're uh, we're like Joe Rogan it tonight. We're just straight three hours, just going yeah, for it. It's good. So that guy posted no, a we're picture. Barely, we're that guy at posted a video. So on we're barely at two yet. Okay. Instagram yesterday of just running up a hill and being out of breath, and it's got two hundred thousand likes. That guy, I remember him on Fear Factor. Yeah, I was like, who is this dude? Uh, whiskey, and then you can mix some of that uh, that spritzer in there because I know now yeah, Evan's everything. been sharing. Yeah. Spritzer? No, you keep taking all fresca. my fresca. Come on, don't take all the fresca. Don't take all the fresca. Hi, guys. You won't take all Hello? the fresca? Chad. Yes. Stop being a pussy. You're on drinking, bros. <laughs> You're fucking shitting me. No. <laughs> no, you got Bird from TV. You got Evan. You got hey, Matt. Now. You got Ross with a big ass And a really dick. drunk Jared Taylor. So. I'm not drunk. And, uh, yeah, you, and you got me with a huge heart on just knowing that I'm talking to you. Fuck Hell oh. yeah. We love you, buddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, yeah. I, I, you know what? I can't. I'm not there, but I, so I, you, I bet you your veins are really there? pulsing. Your veins are really pulsing through that cock right now, aren't they? No, no, they're not. No, apparently. Apparently. it's hard no, to hear. Not. What's Listen, up, buddy? How you doing? Someday we will have a setup to where we can talk to somebody. Well, you know. So, hey, so today, dude, we're calling Chad. We're calling people, and we're asking them what their weirdest sexual fantasy is. So, if you want to drop that on us right now, that'd be phenomenal, brother. Yeah. So, I mean, he's so a I furry. Don't know if you saw the text. He's a furry. What's okay. what's that? Uh, you're a furry. I am not a furry. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, you no, said I, mean, you... I could appreciate it, but you know, I just I don't have. So, no, what, what's I, your I go-to? If you had a weed eater, 
you, you got to have a weed eater, some cool whip, oh, and a strap on. Okay, sorry. The guy above you that we tried to call was a furry. You're the one with the weed eater and the strap. Yeah. On. So, so explain. Yeah. Wait, yeah okay. Let's hear this. Uh, yeah. Let, let's get really I deep into that this. Up. I uh, fucked that yeah, up. Yeah, you did. What? 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 What's the weed eater for? See, see, the weed eater one. It, it just adds a little bit of danger there. But uh, you know, I figure you get that motor going, and you got you got some vibration happening. Um, it'd be good for the lady, and then since you got two ladies, you know, it, you, you one lady holding the weed eater, um, okay. the other lady is penetrating with the strap on, and then our pal Archer, you know, is, is behind the lady with the strap on. So you got like a train going. Wait, um, wait, Archer? Just wait, wait, Archer? Yeah, is Archer have a strap on? He has a cock. No, 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 no. No, Archer doesn't have the strap on. Okay. Archer is just pounding from behind. Yeah, but what's the weed, uh, yeah, where, where, what's uh, the weed eater doing? Where are you the at? Weed, so the girl in front, you know, kneeling down, you got the weed eater rolling, and then she put it up there in she, the cooter. She's vibrating. And just so room, no, room. So no yeah. band, no, no like, we we haven't put any, uh like, line in the weed eater. So it's just a... Like, <laughs> I'm confused. Wow, this is a hard one for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, because a weed eater would fuck somebody up. Like, yeah, yeah. Can, can you go? Yeah, I mean, can you even go the blowback from a weed. Like, you hit a fucking big fucking weed, and then throw shit no, back at no. you. Like, you know imagine what's better the is rope. a buffer. A buffer, like yeah. a buffer. Yeah, yeah. See, you should thought about the buffer, Chad. Playing footies with Evan over here. You should have thought about the buffers. The buffer should have happened. Um. Well, you know that. That's an interesting, uh, interesting circumstance. It, it that is. is an interesting circumstance. It, it's yeah. really. And, and yeah. what? What is there? Anything you can trace back to, like your childhood, that, that made you want to do this? You know, it's just my inner redneck coming out. Ah, you know, oh, there it is. Okay, right. got it. That power. I like that. Oh, eater, you yeah, know. yeah, the dominance of it. See, now, if sure. you're an inner, no, inner no. redneck, that would be like the American flag and then putting a dildo at the end and banging a chick with it and almost putting like oh, like, putting it in her hole in like America. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Flag, flag up See, in the now, air, not towards the ground, obviously. That, yeah, that, that, that deserves pure America right there. Matt, you're a genius. Hey, we're here to create sexual fantasies, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, well, hey, I, 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 I you, truly appreciate it. Yeah, have you been listening to the show for a long time? Uh, I have been listening since you guys were in the 30s. Yeah. Shit. That's awesome. Oh, all right. Well, th hey, this That's is episode 200. Uh, thank you for being on the You're show. On it. And, yeah, we when we we, we, we we really appreciate your time tonight. I appreciate. Just is Franklin there? Franklin Chambliss? Yeah, he uh, works here, but he's yeah. not today. We're, Frank we're here is on not Sunday, here today. Yeah. He was here yeah. earlier. He's not here now. I hope. All right, I was the guy that helped Franklin uh, with with the the fundraiser back in the day. So oh, perfect. Well, hey, we'll we'll, we'll tell him to bring his weed whacker next time he sees you. I'm kidding. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we appreciate you being awesome. on the show. Take I, care, brother. I love you all so much. Thank I, you. We love Cheers, you, brother. Thank love you, you, man. Cheers. Just a weed whacker in a vagina. It's a vibration. It's almost. It's like yeah. it's a red you know, head vibrator. You know who I keeps like trying to get us to call her? Who? From episode 100. No. Yeah. Really? Really? She keeps coming. Wow. Well, fill fill me in. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't here. We then. watched who, Archer fuck a chick, and let's, that's the one she wants you to Why call. Not? We'll Why call not? her. We won't say her name because we're right. not legally allowed. I think to, I have but... her number in my phone. Yeah, that's call crazy. her. Oh, of my course God. you do. That's yeah. a little weird. Hey, <laughs> I, think, I think I have a couple <laughs> selfies yeah. in my phone. There we go. So would it be would it be possible to FaceTime her? <laughs> oh uh, boy! Is that too much. No. Don't go face time waterfalls. All right. Listen to the whiskey in the. Pool. We've got her coming. Up. Hey, we're on two hundred. We're calling episode one hundred. This is legacy right here. Yeah, it hey is. Now. It is. It's been one hundred. Hello. What's up? Who oh, the fuck is this? Who's this? Who is this? Who is this? You don't want to call me. Uh, we're looking. We're looking for uh, Bianca. Where's Bianca? 
I don't know, Bianca brother. Wait, Shit, hold on, dude. hold on, stop. Yeah. A, a question for you here right now. We are on a podcast, and we thought we called Bianca. You're live on the air right now. You're with, live. With six dudes. One point uh, five million listeners. What if I'm live on the air? Then let's fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's dope. <laughs> yeah, we I like you, bro. Li- you are live. I li- I like it a lot. I am yeah. fucking live. Where's some fucking lube at, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah. So hey, d- is this a new phone number for you then? Dude, I really don't know who y'all are. No, bro. no, no, I know, I know. No, no. But, so, but, dude, but have you, you had this phone number for a long time? Is what we're asking. Yeah, bro, I've had this number for a long time. Like, so you're, you're five, saying the years? production guy called the wrong number, and we apologize for that. But I think we should become friends, have a three minute conversation, and uh, figure figure this out. <laughs> oh God, what the? Ah, oh, yeah, he hung yeah, up on yeah, us. Yep, 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 yep. That's yep, all yep, right. Yep, you knew that was uh, happen. But I love. How I was like, it. man, I'm down to fuck. God damn it, Evan. <laughs> I'm Sorry. down to fuck. Oh, Hello, Tier. Boy. Oh, can I say that? No, you can't. Sorry. You can't right. legally on air. So I'm, I'm, I'm. Whose number was that, Jared? Dude, you don't, that you don't is, know who that guy is. That that is Bianca's number that was in my phone. Well, oh, wow. because she kept going, "Hey, assholes, call me." Oh, well. like, but I ask didn't for see her, her real number then, yeah. brother. I'm, I'm doing that now. Yeah, get get her on the fucking horn, dude, on the ham horn. Quick, go side conversation. I'm trying to get it. Can you grab can me that guitar right there? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you, go, yeah, can you oh, start? I love my prom. Prom. just had uh, uh, one, uh, what? the Martin. That one right there. Yeah, Let's, nice. red, uh, red Leader Standing By on Instagram popped on in here. Heck yeah. We'll just do some, uh, some it'll be. Uh, Johnny, can you do Johnny Cash? It's Sunday. Who's who's Johnny Cash? Oh my God! Oh boy, there it is. I Matt, you're, you're you were very proficient guitar. A lot of people don't know that they will when the movie comes out. No, yeah. I, and again, I it, it wasn't on on the podcast, but when Derek was here a couple weeks ago, Derek Weta, yeah, watching Matt and Derek and, uh, and JT and uh, Josh Tyler just rocking out impromptu. Great musicians. Pretty impressive. Yeah, great musicians. And, and by the way, uh, we've gotten a lot of a lot of emails about the uh, one-on-one with Derek Wyda, which is episode 199. And uh, dude, I, we can't thank you for the uh, enough for the overwhelming response. We we promised for a long time to, to get him on the show. That was our most requested guest of all time to do a one-on-one interview with. Um, and it, we're sorry it took so long, but it did happen. And uh, man, that was a fucking fun time. I think we went like two hours. He was in Vegas. Just he threw a huge dip in, and then we just went for just for like two hours. Yeah, that's awesome. Super I great guy. Super I, interesting. Can I quit the show and just fucking play music behind you guys when you, you should? Uh, like, yeah, score us. You want to score us for a little score. bit? Yeah. Like yeah. Like, you, like what's something you want to like? What's the scenario you want to talk about? Uh, Matt, okay. I'll, I'll tell you a scenario. I got I got it. Okay, Here's that? what we need to do with you. Take you somewhere that has street performers or a transient population, or somewhere where people. Would, artsy fartsy and play guitar and, and panhandle for, I thought it was a sap song yeah, yeah. We, need, we need to see how much money you, you can, can get it. without that people knowing who, without shit. people knowing who yeah. Matt Best if, is I want to do go it with play him. the guitar I do you guys go play the guitar to train that'll really show performer. you how good you are yeah. if you had a question of like hey how good am I in real life when you can't handle, yeah. I'm not that good. Street performers are yeah. real good, but yeah. you guys should do it. We'll film, yeah, we do film it, it, film it yeah, without people it. know, but knowing that we're filming you, and see if you guys draw a crowd and how much money you can raise. I like it. I would love to see that. Well, what do you want to talk yeah. about? Let's talk about. I, I will what, too. What, what can, you hey, about? can you play me a, a, like a Springsteen type of type of song? Well, we sat on this porch since we were three. I feel like I was about to be free. Jared's brother's moved. calling. Oh, answer, answer that shit it. when he's not answer here. Answer it. Hello? Aaron. 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 Oh, he doesn't have it plugged in. Oh, that oh, little dirt God bag. Damn it. Here, let me see. Can Jer- I, can I, can I go production? Shit. No, he had to go I, dump I, out mid-show. Mid Jared show. wants to take oh, a fucking man, shit. Now we'll hit him back. God, yeah, let me ask you this, because I'm not, I'm not out here all of the, all of the time. Dealing with Jared, how many times does he get up and shit during a show like this? At least once a show. Jesus Christ. Why, is it the show that makes him nervous or is it the show that makes him shit? I think he just he, he eats processed meat so much that he has to poop all the time. Man. Yeah. Hey, Jared, your brother called when you were taking a shit. Yeah. yeah. So can you can you give him a call back? Um, his name is Aaron. We could solve yeah, this problem Aaron. by just get one of those yeah. camp toilets in here where you just poop right here. Yeah, can you? Hey, can, can we customize a chair that's got a hole in the bottom of it? For yeah, Jared of course. Who did he call? Yeah. He called you. 
Called you the, the on the on the uh, on the bat phone. Talking about there you pooping. Go. Right hand. The uh, the river trip to Idaho that you brought up. Yes. Where do you I, go, I don't where, ask where, questions. Where, I'll, I'll where, poop, where do you guys shit? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll poop anywhere. So they they set up. Oh, dude! All He's the blue, going into a lovely story about taking know, shit in the woods. Just, and then you just, just told me. This is about it. as American you as it gets. It. <laughs> you just became Hello? North North Korea. Hello, Jared's brother. Hi. Hello, Aaron. Oh. Hi, guys. You you are live on the air, my brother. What's that? You're live on Drinking You're Bros. You're live. Jesus Christ! You're okay. related What's to that? Jared, right? This is yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> Look, we we saw you. You wrote in a ton of messages. What what is what is your weirdest sexual fantasy? This is disgusting. Yeah, a ton of messages. I didn't write any ton. Oh no, I'm, I don't know. I, I'd have to go with the blunkin. With the blunkin. Oh, oh you you want to yeah. get blown? You want to get blown while you're shitting? That's not even that no. cool. <laughs> you want to get blown while you're shitting? Has that <laughs> never happened to you? Not yet. Not yet. So so you so you're still holding out hope. Have you ever asked a girl to give you a, a, a blumpy? No, I'm too embarrassed. Oh. Why? Why? Why would you be embarrassed about your dreams? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, hey why you, would you be embarrassed about your dreams? You know what? You Lance, Lance Armstrong would, wouldn't have won eight eight fucking tour. Right. Of if he didn't take steroids. Yeah. Wait. What? Exactly. Oh, sorry. Dreams. You dreams, know what John dreams. Wilkes Booth said? He said you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> so why aren't you taking more shots? <laughs> why aren't you taking more shots? <laughs> Uh, I, b- I believe that was actually Michael Jordan. No, no. Uh, no I, I actually, John I believe Wilkes it was Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> yeah, it was. Fox. It was Lee Harvey yeah. Oswald, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Um, so, Aaron, let me ask you this. Are you dating anyone? Yes. You are. So why why, why not ask her? How long How long have you guys been dating? Uh, two years. Oh, at, at the two-year range. You're, you've crossed that, that threshold where it's like, hey, would would you mind like you generally I, wait till they take a shower and then it's like all right I'll shit yeah I just I just got I just got my subscription from Black Rifle I gotta I gotta I gotta squeeze one out would you mind blowing me while I'm on the shitter this morning <laughs> is is, uh, is she there with you so right I now gotta... no she's no she's city. he's uh, a band uh, practice right now he's yeah. a band what 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 kind of band what kind of band would you classify your band. I don't know, Jared. How about you classify us? Oh, look I don't. At this. I don't. I don't. A little cla- slit I don't sibling know their rivalry. Genre? No, there's no rivalry. What do you, mean you don't know his genre. Is it 18th century Gregorian chant? No, like what no. the? Fuck? No, it's like, not like it's not like metalcore. It's more like uh, I'm surprised it didn't cut my wrist. Genre, you know? No, oh, it's yeah. more like it's oh, it's merge brand new. With Connor Oberst, no one knows any of those. Oh, no. I, I don't know what you're saying. Just say, is it mo? Is it murder boner fucking metal? Like what? What is it? Like, no, no, it's like, no, it's like, ha- it's like happy it's like emotional music, psychedelic folk acoustic indie rock. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. Because that's a big seller and it's super radio friendly. Psychedelic folk acoustic rock. Yes. Roy, I don't right. even know how to play that. <laughs> no, you know? yeah. listened to a bunch of it the other night. Was no, it good? I bet you was did. it good. It was great. Yeah, is, see? is the name of your is is the name of your so your late. band name uh, account overdrawn? It's so because that, that that's a hard <laughs> that's one to make money fine. in. Yeah, it's a hard one to make money no, in. So, Fuck this so system. Soleil, Soleil. Yeah. All right, so can can we find you on iTunes or SoundCloud? Jacksonville, or? Florida. iTunes, Soleil SoundCloud. Nine oh four on Facebook. All right, uh, and do you have do you have an album out on uh, iTunes or SoundCloud or anything? Not no, we're working on that right now. We're in the process of recording. Okay. How many songs do you have? Uh, completed right now. We have like thirteen. Oh, all right. Shit. So you're you're getting real close to putting something out. Yeah. Real real close yeah. to popping out a biscuit is what they say in the record biz. They don't say that, but they should. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, the past year, so we you just played a wedding with you the did. singer from Fox Ring. No shit. Um, so yeah. So uh, all right. What, what's uh, uh, are you guys going on tour anytime soon? Are you playing any, any weddings near us or? No, not. Uh, we're working on our album. Then we'll talk. Then we'll do shows. What's the guys. name of the album? Uh, we're probably gonna go with Qualia. I'm sorry, Qu- Qualia. Yeah, it's a philosophical term. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend changing that. Um, 
I mean, uh, shit, well, you could even I'll go with like Jenny's staircase, and that would be better. But you know, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Qualia sounds like a like a foreign airline where it's like, oh hey, it are, sounds are, like uh, an antidepressant medication. I'm, I'm waiting what? for, for <laughs> yeah. Zone 16 to board on Qualia. Qualia. Those who take Qualia have experienced yeah, yeah, yeah. diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> heart problems, headaches, chronic masturbating, <laughs> <laughs> the, the blumpkins. Yeah, because if you're looking for a hardcore blumpy from a girl. One, you got to get your band real it. famous. I'm not into the Blumpkins. I don't the, get that. The people I, the the people I do know who have had Blumpkins. It's not a good smell. I don't want anyone in the room when I'm shitting. No. no. Me too. Same with me. Because no. it's an awful experience. Well, yeah. I, I would like B. Arthur if she was still alive. Um, She's still the alive. Girls. She's still Is alive. She? Yes. Uh, well, I'd like her to watch me ha- ha- have Bert a nice got really grump. pissed off about that. The Golden Girls She's is a still great alive. show. Super angry about it. Everybody else is dead, though, right? It's Golden Girls is a great show. Yeah, it lives forever. It lives forever in hearts and minds, and I appreciate you bringing that By up, By the way, Bert. you watch shows like Golden Girls and Archie Bunker, and, and what's the one, the East Side people, the black people that live on the East Side? Jefferson's. Jefferson's. Yeah. What the those fuck? Those shows are the most What's that description? Bert's, honestly. Those, sh- those shows are the roughest, most racist, funniest shit you've ever heard. How did we become so fucked? Fucking week I know. And on, like TV, on TV. I used to jack Watch off to Andy Griffith's show. That whistling. That's a little. Weird. I can only Here, get go, off to go the on a rant. Go on a rant about no, that. No, I, I want. To, are you going to play while I rant? Yeah, go ahead. No, for real. Like you watch TV and everything's so politically correct, and they've got a black person and a Mexican and a white person Yo. and an Indian person. Yep. It's yeah. It's you. Why, don't, why don't you look at the, the when the Air Force first awarded yeah. the Combat Action Medal? It literally was an Asian, a Mexican, a black person, a pilot that was a female. Like, like they literally just, like, when they came out with, oh, we're going to award people that actually done shit in combat. Like, their first eight or six or whatever it was, was just the most politically correct group they could ever find. S- you don't see it anymore. No, no you don't. You, you don't, definitely you don't, don't see that Not the dudes that were in Robert's Ridge, like... Bro, we just got our fucking asses handed to us for fucking 48 hours. No, no, no. They don't get the first combat action medal. No. We got to no. give it we got to give it to the the black nurse that saw a rocket land near her in near camp. the chow hall. Boy, you know what? We're just chatting and there's still somebody on the phone. I mean, who cares? He's it's good. Aaron. It's Aaron. It's he's, just he's, Aaron. You know what? He, you know what he's not doing what? right now? Getting a blumpkin. He's not um, getting a blumpkin. He's not getting a blumpkin. You know what? You know what? For Halloween, you should say uh to, what's what's your what's your girlfriend or significant other's name? Mark. Yeah. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda? Yeah. Uh, t- tell her you want to uh, Amanda blow you while you're fucking taking a shit. Um <laughs> You should Mark, say, it, 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 like at Halloween, just at Halloween, just say, hey, uh, here's what I want. It's the great Blumpkin, Charlie Brown, and then see what her response is to that. Uh, that's funny. Our anniversary is on Halloween. Is it really? Oh, perfect. Guess yeah. what? Yeah. No, Blumpkin no, totally time. Right. Blumpkin time. <laughs> that <laughs> would make me feel so dirty. I don't want to. I don't even. Not only that, but the stink while I she's blowing dude, you. I, I don't want to oh. experience that. Anymore. Super hard to. So uh, carving blumpkins instead of a dick in a box, I'll put my dick in a pumpkin and sit on the toilet. Say, hey, I got a surprise. The pumpkin blumpkin. I like it. Oh, yeah. a good old pumpkin blumpkin. <laughs> that yeah. sounds pumpkin like a drink from a... It's uh, getting creative. From that Starbucks. That sounds like a drink. Ooh, this I wasn't going to say Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because their, ta- their coffee tastes like shit. All right, so I, they I put a little pumpkin in I still in don't it, get this, uh, the blumpkin you know. thing. No, I don't if you If you smell a fart from the same person... No, no. And that Yuck. person puts a little poop on their finger, Yuck. smell that. Yuck. And that person poops in a toilet... Yuck! Every single bit of that person's poop smells different in a different setting. It's the weirdest thing in the world. Try it. Try it. No. Yeah. Fart right. you, smell made, you, made you made me quick guitar. No. So true. we're done with him. It's we're going to call my mom now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Let's call your mom. I'll have fun. Let's call your mom. Bye. Thanks, Aaron. We love you. Matt, this is the coolest you've looked. We're going to get a shot of you. Matt is... Man, how is, like is your hair fucked up like ten minutes ago, and now it's perfect? It's perfect it good? again. Yeah. yeah, God, you know this is literally the best you've ever looked, and you don't even know it. I don't fucking know it. Yeah. It's good. It's crazy. Are those, are those Oakley blades? I don't know whose these are. Are, are, are all these you blades Oakley? Them. Hey, hey, who is this? Hey, is this Jared? Hey, hey mom? this is this is uh, Jared Taylor this from is Jared Taylor's mom. Who oh, is this? fuck! Is it really? Yeah. Who, who hey, is this? Hey, second mama. This is Matt. 
And Nevin. Oh, hey, Matt. I and so Ross. Every, everybody Hi, here. Bert yeah. from TV. Hi, Mom. Please. Hi, Mom. I, and who? And Bert from I, TV. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit on the show, I have a crush on you. Ew. Yeah, we all do. Ew. What? <laughs> They're being ridiculous right now. No, they're not. No, it's being true. Ridiculous I, I have a, right I have now. a big crush on your mother, like a respectful crush, because she's an amazing Is woman. Is it because? Oh man, that's so sweet. Jesus, <laughs> just ham it up. Stop that. And then, and then Jared's like, I hate my mother. Well, Jared, Jared's an ass. I'll be, I'll be your better son. Um, so, I, I, yeah, we I love mean, you. Well, time to trade in. You guys, I, time to trade in. You guys you know? need to come and uh, visit us. So give us a really embarrassing story about Jared Taylor. Your that is son. ridiculous. Yeah, no, sexual. You did you ever, did you ever sexual catch him having sex? Yeah. Yes. I want to hear about this. I don't know any. Did you say sexual embarrassment? Yeah. Did, did you ever catch did like ever Jared catch masturbating or something yeah. as a kid? In a in the car. What, really? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I've, no, I've never caught him doing anything like My that. My dad did. Oh. In the car? Yeah. Why were you in the car? Catch because I was 16. Did you catch him? <laughs> no. He, did you ever catch Jared masturbating? No, he <laughs> caught me banging Nen in the car. Oh wow, that's crazy! Yeah, what did he say to you? What yeah. was his exact phrase? They, to he you? just knocked on the fucking window like, "Knock it off, idiot!" And then he walked in the house. It's awesome. No way! Yeah. Wow. He wow. said he said he's never caught you. Yes, he did in the car when we were on base right after I got off work at McDonald's. Me and Nen were in the car. Who's Nen? Is that a guy or a girl? That's a. <laughs> Ask him because I know. That it. was a girl. That was a girl. Oh, that all right. That was that was the uh, Nen. Nicar- no, classic no, Nicaraguan girl. The only, girl. the only story that I think that would be embarrassing about Jared that I think was funny is when he was home alone, and we were camping, oh, and he thought someone was in the house. <laughs> No, that. I didn't. I didn't were you, were you scaredy pants, Jerry? I didn't were do you that. scaredy pants? I didn't do that. Did no. you cry? Oh, my nope. God. He, nope. called, he called me on the cell phone. He was, like, <laughs> he so wa- scared because he <laughs> thought someone was in our house. He was. How, no how, way. Yeah, was and he? that's he was, why he joined the Air Force. He was 18? How old was he? He was uh, 30. He, he was yeah, 30 years so old. Yeah, he was 32. <laughs> <laughs> how, how old was Jay, Jared at the time? 16. Do you remember that, Jared? No, he he walked up to get a drink because he was scared. What, how old was he? I was sixteen. You were sixteen or seventeen? I can't remember. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow. Did you join the and army? And I'm like, 18? Jared, Jared, I know what you're talking. He heard something that he thought was upstairs. He thought he heard something upstairs. And I remember, <laughs> and I was on the phone with him. I'm like, Jared, I know what you're talking about because I hear those sounds all the time. But nobody's in the house. It's okay. Listen, and I'm like, where are you? And he's like, I'm in my car. I'm going to sleep in my car. And I go, you don't have to sleep in your car. You can go back in I the house. was How old were you? 16. God damn it. Listen, I had accidentally <laughs> fallen asleep and woke up to the DVD introduction menu of 13 Ghosts. You remember that movie? Yeah. 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 You were, you were <laughs> terrifying. You were about one of 13 people who saw it. I'm just saying. Like, 13 people. Yeah. Jeez. And then it was Jeez. like, I heard some shit. I was alone. I'm not, I don't, you and know. And so I had to stay on the phone with him while he went upstairs and looked in all the closets. I had a Nokia, by the way. I had a Nokia phone. It was Is it Nokia? Nokia? Oh, yeah. I used to have a Nokia as <laughs> yeah, well. Nokia. Yeah. And I was like, I'll, I'll stay on the phone with you, Jared, but I know what you're hearing, and it's okay. Nobody no, she <laughs> caught my buddy Troy having sex in our house. Really? Yeah. What would you say to Troy? I was on the top bunk, and Troy was banging Julia on the bottom oh bunk. Oh, my God. How awkward is that as a parent? To find to find one of your 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 child's best friends boning someone. Oh, I did not like Troy. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes Troy. No, I like Troy. <laughs> You st- are you still Jared friends with did. Troy to this I day? I am still. I just went to his wedding a couple years ago. Oh, look you at that. You remember when I had the white suit? Yeah. That's yeah. the only reason that I had a suit. Such for the, an ugly suit. For the TED Talks. That was his suit for his wedding. Ah, I just wore it double. Yeah. yeah. It was a terrible oh, I didn't suit. Know that. Yeah, I doubled it. Yeah, it was, it was a terrible suit. But Troy married the girl that I was dating that summer. Really? Yeah. You have a lot of issues. I'm sorry you had to be his parent. <laughs> Yeah, Jared's a, Jared's got a lot of things going on, doesn't he? 
So do you think it's just that I screwed up as a mom? No, you're no. a fantastic person. Jared's just fucked. J- Jared is who he is, you know? Yeah. He, he definitely well, is. I, I, just of- wonder, I just wonder if it has to do with like a uh, concussion of some sort or something. Oh, <laughs> Mama thinks he got TBI. Yeah, was he concussed as a child? Quite a few times. Really? From what? Dirt biking, skateboarding, rollerblading. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I just wonder if it is a brain. So are you guys done with your you're already done with your um podcast, right? No, you're, no, you're, you're, you're on, on episode two hundred. You're, you're on, on it right now. right now. No, I'm not. Yes, yes you're you on are. episode yes, two hundred. Yes, ma'am, you and are. And we and we <laughs> just we just talked to Aaron and yes. I, I I'm gonna say this to you, uh Mama Taylor. Don't listen to the what? episode because if you if you know what Aaron's into, it's going to haunt your dreams what forever. Uh oh, so, what so, was Aaron? So the, listen, he, Aaron gave us his one, number one sexual <laughs> fantasy, and it was awful. Ew. Yeah, I don't that's what I that. said. Yeah, it's even worse God, when you hear what it is. Being a parent sucks. Yeah, I never want to be a part of that. Well, it I really don't want to hear it. No, no, <laughs> definitely. Don't listen to this episode. Just hide it. No, hi- hide it. Bury it way down. I just, deep I want to take your mom on a steak dinner and like we can laugh at it. I don't Dude, want you, you I don't, guys. I don't you want have you there, her right there, here. Jared. You could ask her any question. Bert, you're probably the only one that will be appropriate. Ask her any question you want. Well, wait, wait. Who's Bert? Bert Coons from TV. Bert from TV. Exactly. Have, you never, have you never watched TV? That's, TV was on that's the he kind was of on people it. I like. Who's Bert No. <laughs> Bert, you're a TV star. <laughs> Bert, you're a TV like star your and you're already. a special boy. She's she's an awesome woman. She's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, you guys are sweet. Thank you. Can can I be your so son? You guys, no. So you guys need to be my boys because, you know, Aaron God Jared. <laughs> Yeah, I, will, I will. Do you want to me. ask her any question? Jared any, doesn't think his any, mom is cool. Really? Any, any question? We think your mom is cool. Not only that. Not only do we think you're cool, but like everybody uh, has agreed. Like you're hot. Like you're, you're, you're the mom. Super good looking. Yeah. So I, I got a I got a good question for you. So okay. JT and this group of guys is obviously extremely successful, and they're they're killing the business world. They killed the uh, the military life and their military service. What did you think, honestly, what did you think JT would grow up to be when he was a kid? Good question. I really, I knew that he was going to do something in the military because since he was little, he talked about being in the military. Like he wanted, he wanted to be a fighter pilot when he was really young, but then um, his dad's best friend was killed in a midair collision. And I think that he saw how, that affected his dad, and so I think that changed his course wow. a little bit. That wow. I, I that's knew some real shit right there. <laughs> Which did you ever imagine? That I knew. Did you ever the military, imagine? Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, but I knew he was going to do something great in the military, and I knew he wanted to do something with um, film and all that. But I never dreamed he'd be doing what he's doing now. That's what I was going to ask you. If if you would have thought these guys that your when, son would be involved. When I was less than five years old, I could almost name every aircraft in the military inventory. Oh yeah, he every really aircraft with and, the facts and behind and he them. Knew, and he knew everything about uh, trains too. He knew trains. Yeah. We would read yeah, him stories. A... We would read him books. We would read him books about trains and jets and all that stuff. And he would um, retain all that information. It was insane how he could retain. So literally, when I went into TAC B school, there's a whole block of instruction about platforms, like yeah. every platform that flies with weapons. And I could name everything without even giving a shit, like, because I already knew. That's crazy. I knew since I was five. Well, you, your like, memory is, is the best there is. Like, we're doing this movie now, and I, I, there's, you know, we're, we're, we just had the rough cut. There's some title cards left in there, and I know you'll I, be able to pull these pictures. Uh, absolutely. I know seconds. exactly yes. where I know they're The they're thing on. that impresses me the most about Jared is that he uses every talent that he has. Really does. He really does. Um, Aww. How, how Mama he, loves you. How did he eat as a child? Huh? How did he eat as like a child? Eat, did, did, did he develop that as an adult where he just shoves food in his mouth, or has he always been that way? <laughs> develop what? I can't, eat. I can't hear How did I eat Like eating food. Eat. Oh. 
um, I don't, when you were, li- oh, I know. <laughs> I, t- I told this to um, your nephew, Logan, because he's, he wants to, all he wants to do is butter sandwiches. Jared was stuck on peanut butter and jelly. All that's all he wanted for like four months when he was a little kid. He wanted peanut butter and jelly for breakfast, peanut butter here's, and jelly. Here's, for lunch. and no shit, again, you say about my memory. I have, I can still remember a specific day on Palmer Drive in Novato, California, where I sat next to the speaker of our record player while she played the final song from Top Gun, the, the like epic song. Is that, and I is that ate what? a peanut butter jelly sandwich while sitting next to the speaker. I probably was four years old. My, my next question was this. Was that movie pivotal in you wanting to be in the Air Force? Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, yeah. I figured. <laughs> I, I think I watched that movie like a hundred times. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's great. Uh, well, look, we appreciate you being on the show. And uh, again, well, I wish definitely you would have told me I to was one. on the show. Well, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Definitely don't Just listen shift to this over. One. Put Ken on it. <laughs> He's already been on it. He yeah. doesn't talk much. No, Ken doesn't talk much, but uh, he has been on the show. Thank you for being on the show. We, lo- we love you, Mama Taylor. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you all. We love you. Bye. Uh, this this was a this was a great episode. <laughs> this was a crazy uh, great episode. Um, this uh, we 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 capped it with Jared's mom. Um, we we really fucking ran through the belly of the beast tonight. Uh, we got into some weird sexual fantasies across the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and again, we're, we're sorry that uh, we, we couldn't have the threesome. Again, those who were affected by the hurricane. Uh, hurricanes, it's sad. It's sad. Yes. Yeah. So, so our, our hearts Absolutely. go out. Um, but we, we appreciate everybody being on the show. Um, drinking bro. Br- drinking bro for 200. Who, who, do you, who do you got for that, Jared? For 200? Yeah, because it's a big one. Yeah. Well, I'll go with this. Sure. My drinking bro from number 200 is Daniel Sanchez. Really? Yes. Okay. Yesterday was the seven-year anniversary of his death. Danny, had he still been here, I guarantee you he would be a part of this whole thing. Yeah. He was funny as fuck. Fuck. You always talk about him all the time. Yes, it, it, because he was the only one like back in the day when I had started. He's like, "Oh, dude, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna do it all." Like, like he was he was the only one that was supportive of it all. Sure. Like, hey man, I got this idea for a fucked up video. He's like, "Oh, get off at four. I'll be there four twenty. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that yeah. was him. Like, y- you know, we were doing a crazy photo shoot for. Um, gun companies out in Florida and he showed up and brought a bunch of uniforms and equipment and stuff like that like just helping every every time I had an idea or any time we were hired by somebody he was like I'm in yeah and he was fucking awesome fuck yeah and he was funny as shit too yeah 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 like, so you can you can go and find some old videos of us on a YouTube channel called Cleared Hot Production was that your first production company? Yeah. All right. Well, that was that was my Tac P kind of channel where sure. I did everything military Tac P esque. Um, but yeah, that's okay. fucking awesome, man. That's my drinking bro of the week. Well, look, kids, um, we we appreciate you you sticking with us for two hundred uh, episodes, man. Uh, it, even saying that out loud is is uh, is crazy to say. 200 episodes I, I, there's there's very few things that i've done 200 times in my life um but 200 hours yeah, exists of yeah, us 200 talking. hours is, is good or bad it exists um we appreciate you guys staying with us for the long haul uh, everybody who's affected by the hurricanes um our hearts go out to you uh article 15 has got some shirts for sale that are that are going all proceeds go to the houston victims and uh, this was this was a really fun, weird, wild episode. 
And uh, we appreciate you uh, taking some time out of your your Sunday evening to let us give you a jangle. And we appreciate you being drinking bros and broettes. Uh, for Jared Taylor, Matt Best, Evan Hafer, uh, Bert Koontz from TV, I am Ross Patterson. We are out of here. We are the Drinking Bros, and we hope to go 200 more episodes. Good night, everyone. We love you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.